What up, everyone? Welcome to our monthly, well, I guess bi weekly auction. And I got my amazing panel here. We got Mama as our auctioneer today, followed by we have Bill Stoner, we have Lobster, we have Wexmax Gary, and last but not least, we have Pittsburgh. What up? So we got we got a great panel today. We have some great items, and I just want to know if y'all are ready to bid. Uh, that is the main question, and I can't wait to see what we're going to get on some of this stuff and what you guys are going to win today. So let's get Mama with the most important info, and we'll get this thing rolling. Okay, this here are the rules of the game. Do you want to make me big, baby? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm already big, but, you know, these are the rules of the game. Make sure, number one, you are on live chat, not top chat, live chat. When we are bidding, I go by who is on top on my chat. Your chat may be different. Gary's chat may be different. We go by what's on my chat. I'm the auctioneer. That's what I'm looking at. That's what we go by, what I call go okay bid increments from one to twenty dollars we go in dollar increments now you are more than welcome to bid more than a dollar at a time but it's it's not required from twenty dollars to fifty dollars we go in two dollar increments from fifty dollars to a hundred dollars is five dollar increments and from 100 up, it's $10 increments. And that is something that will be forced. So you will just be kindly asked to correct your bid. If you do, wonderful. If you don't, I don't count that bid. So if you're asked to correct a bid because it's in the, it's in the wrong format and you don't correct it, I don't count that bid. So just so you know that. When you win an auction... Your lovely person that you have bought your auction from will be placing their email in the chat specifically for you. You will then email that person your right paper email address so they can invoice you immediately. We would like to be collecting payments throughout the auction. Instead of waiting until after the auction, once you win a lot, we would like for you to pay for that lot before continuing to the next. So you're definitely gonna want to hit pop on that right away. You want to get that paid so that you're not missing on another lot, definitely. And the last and final rule of the auction is to have fun. Have fun, people. Look, I'm here, I'm nothing but fun. I got five great guys all around me who are nothing but fun. So let's do this and just remember what I say goes. <laughs> All right. We see we got 29 people in the house. 31 people are coming in by the flocks. That's awesome. Let's so do let's, this. Let's start this thing. So we're going to start with lobster. All right. Here we go. You guys ready for this one? Are you ready? Here we go. So this is a Star Wars lot. Uh, the email is right there. You can go ahead and email me when you uh, get ready to pay for it. This is a What's lot of 40 plus items in this lot. What's that? What's the starting bid? Uh, we're going to start the bid at a dollar an item. So we're going to start it at $40. Okay. Right, so free shipping. 40 plus items. This is a Transformer Star Wars. That's the piece. There's piece number two. Piece number the three. The Pooper is in at 40. Thank you. There's another one. My little favorite. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. There he is. We've got There's Buffalo one. with a high bid at 40. Do I see 42? I don't the know. These are going to be over 40 pieces of Star Wars figures. Mixed. Slot. He's raising the roof. What's up? Merch for food. <laughs> this guy's like, hey, what's up, dude? 
Here's another one. All these are complete. I got uh, the accessories I'll show it towards the end. You'll get all these. Here's the man right here. Definitely Phil. There's another one. Army Buffalo Picker holding a high bid at 40. Does anyone have 42? 40 plus pieces, plus all the hardware is coming up. There's a little guy there. No. Another one. You could set these up all on this shelf. She's Star Wars. I don't know what she is, but she's going. That's an instant collection right there. Definitely. I don't know what this guy is. I think he's. Might be, I don't know. There's another one. Forty guys. Oh, lost the head. For your for your pencil. Here's mm -hmm. another little guy. And you got this one. And we got two capes. Okay. And it comes with Star Wars watch. Oh, cool. Okay. Whoop. Comes with the watch. Then it comes with a Pez candy unopened. The Those are nice. Those These are go really for about 10 bucks alone. For 10 bucks themselves. And then the last bit of little pieces, you got sticks and all kinds of, here's another little pencil thing that goes with it. You got a little mobile, another little robot. Uh, you got lightsabers. Here's the one for the red one. Um, got some little bits and pieces here. There's like a helmet of some sort that goes the bottom of the, bottom of the bit. Oh, there you go. All that Where's comes with it. So all you've that got comes all with these miscellaneous pieces, and you've got 40 Star Wars figures, guys. Larry M is in at 42. Thank you, Larry M. Do I see 44? All that comes together. All those miscellaneous pieces and 40 Star Wars figures. Let's not forget, free shipping on all Free lots. shipping. Yeah, free shipping. Larry M is holding the high bid at 42. Do I see 44? We have got to move these lots fast and furious, guys. We, we're not going to wait too long i will start counting it down for larry m we're gonna go once to larry m for 42 dollars twice to larry m for 42 dollars Tommy, are you really gonna let that get away for two dollars? That's a that's a lot of stuff. Fair warning. It's a good deal. Definitely. And Larry M, you just bought that for forty two dollars. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Go ahead and email me. I'll send you an invoice, bud. That might be the deal of the day at the first lot. Hey. I'm all about getting rid of stuff right now. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it, bro. All right. So who wants to go next? Bill or Wes Max Gary? Which one do you want to go for next? Go ahead, Bill. All right. I got a lot of hats. Go start at 20. They're all new era and fitted. So I'll just run through them here real quick. 
You've got 20 of them, you said? Yeah. Is that an Oakland A's? I have no idea. I don't know anything about sports. These are hats that I found out in my garage, out in the garage shop while I was cleaning. And uh, they were ones I was going to list, and I just hadn't got to them yet. So there's a bunch of them. Brittany Brands has got $20. Gate City Pickers bid $22. Thank you. Do I see $24? Atlanta Braves, thank you, Jonathan. Junk Girl Patty is bid 22. Gate City Picker already had the 22. Thank you, Patty. She's bidding 24. This one's not New Era, but I just threw it in the box. Can I see 26 from you? They are hats, so really well. So you've got 20 hats there, you said? No, there's. it started at 20. There's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of them ten hats all right nurse flippers at 26 thank you nurse flipper do i see 28 there's some really sharp hats in there they're all pretty nice some of them could use a little cleaning but cajun uh, resellers in at 30 patty cajun beat you just by a bit can i see 32 they're all definitely sellable or wearable This got like out. Cajun reseller holds the high bid right now at $30. Patty, Junk Girl Patty's in at $32. Thank you, Patty. Looking for $34. Hi, Jen. I don't know. I just hold Cajun up. reseller oh. is out. Junk Girl Patty holds the high bid at $32. Do I see $34? Nurse Flipper says, yes, Mama, I will give you 34. Do I see 36? A lot of 10 hats. Patty is in at 36. Thank you, baby girl. Do I see 38? I like that one. Oh, just because yeah, it's pretty neat. It's got little color. bees all over the back of it. Yeah, it's too bad it's not a dolphin, but. I'm going to count this down for Patty. Some of these like they're older too. I think cool. We are going twice to Patty for $36. Fair warning, guys. We've got a little bit of a lack tonight. So please don't wait because I do not hesitate. Put your bid in or you will be too late. I'm watching the chat. And Junk Girl Patty, you have bought it for $36. Congratulations. Forgot to use my gavel. <laughs> Congrats, Patty. Mama's a rapping. We might get free. Uh, KJ said we might get freed from lockdown tomorrow. What? Congratulations, Patty. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you very much. What's up, Gary? What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Thanks for coming. What's so, up, Gary? I'm gonna start off with some video games. A lot. What are we starting at? Two, four, six, eight. Let's start off with five bucks. Whoa, for eight video games? Eight, okay. And now these, these things are in perfect shape. I buy a lot of video games out there. and I mean, look at these things. Those Somebody pick for Mama. Really, really good shape. Pittsburgh is in at five. Street home court. Great. Oh, sorry. I threw a $10 bid in there. What, what am I doing? This one's a... Uh, <laughs> This is a three disc here. I'm not allowed to bid. I threw a bid in there. I'm sorry. Flow Town Flips got the high bid. Oh, Flow Town, I'm dropping it. Oh, so you got the high bid at 10. Complete. I need to see 12. 
Queen. Jen's at 14. Thank you, Jen. Jen's got the high bid at 14. Come on, people. Another one. Stroke of Luck Frank is in at 15. Flowtown Flip is in at 16. I like Flowtown Flip. Five. Flowtown Flip, I think you and I are going to be friends. Flowtown Flip's got the high bid at 16. Aerosmith. 17. Show, show that Rocky 2 again. I didn't get to see that close. Sand Dollar is in at 20. Char Hero 3. Complete. I only bid because I saw Rocky 2. That was definitely nice. Want? Jen Sand Dollar's got the high bid at 20. Oh, wow. I need now a bit of 24. Flowtown Flip has come in with a bit of 22. Those look like they are in good shape. They're in really good shape. Grr. Oh, that doesn't say Rocky 2. That's Far Cry 2. <laughs> I thought it said Rocky 2. We can call it Rocky 2. Yeah, it doesn't do the same thing for me. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone's my boyfriend. Flowtown Flip has got the high bid at 22. I'm going to start counting it down. Jen is in with a bid at 24. She's going, Mama, not too fast, chick. What are you doing? Jen's got the high bid at 24. Do I see 26? Games are hot right now. Those are some nice games, and they are in nice condition, guys. Flowtown Flip says, hold up. I got 28. Do I see 30? I need a bid of $30. Sand Dollar, thank you for your bid of $30. Who will give me 32? I need a bid of 32. I'm going to call it Fast and Furious. Do not wait. I am not kidding. Once I start flipping my lips, they go fast. Thank you, Jen, for letting me know you're out. Flowtown Flip is in at 34. Do I see 36? Sand Dollar, are you really going to take that? Really? I'm going to start counting it down for Flowtown Flip, my new buddy. We're going to go once to Flowtown Flip for 34. Thank you, Sand Dollar, for letting me know you're out. Going twice to Flowtown Flip for 34. Fair warning. I am watching the chat. And Flowtown Flip, you just bought that baby for $34. Congratulations. Congrats, Flowtown. Appreciate it, buddy. If you can, just shoot me uh, on PayPal, send payment in, and I'll confirm once you, once you pay it. Thank you. I feel powerful with a with a gavel. I'm not gonna lie. I'll keep the uh, video game stuff rolling for a minute here. Uh, I have a lot of ten brand new uh, Nintendo 3DS pouches. 3DS DS uh, could be for either one. Uh, You've the, got ten. They're all black. Yep, they're all the same. What's our starting bid, baby? Uh, let's just start it at fifteen bucks. All right, fifteen dollars starting bid. Who's going to start us off with $15? You've got 10 all of the same item, which as we know, one listing, multiple quantity, bada bing, bada done. Stroke of luck, Frank is in at 15. Jen, he just beat you. Can I get a 16? I'm just going to call you draw for flips because I can't do that whole thing. I, I, I just can't do it. Is in at $17, but I love you, baby. Jen's in at 19. Flips is in at 21. Can I get a 23? I can't draw flips. You're just flips, baby, because my, mama's lips don't move quite that fast. <laughs> well, they do, but the brain doesn't. Jen's in at 23. Thank you, Jen. Do I see 25? Hi, Swamp Picker. What's up, Glenn? Hey, Glenn. Good to see you, bud. 
Oh, that's right. I forgot about that nurse flipper. Thank you. I'm still going to call them flips. Also, guys, uh, one thing I wanted to make sure you guys remember is um, every single person that wins an auction tonight uh, will get a Pittsburgh sticker from me. And uh, anybody that wins any auction, regardless of who it's to tonight, will get uh, broski points towards the uh, giveaway we do on the morning show, uh, beginning of every month. <laughs> <laughs> Frank stroke along is in at 30. Jen follows with a bit of 32. Do I see 34? Yeah, I can see you playing with your uh playing the accordion with your, your accordion. Like make it rain Nintendo accessories. Oh jeez. <laughs> Jen's got the high bit at 32 right now. I'm gonna count it down for her. Going once to Jen for 32. We're gonna go twice to Jen for $32. Fair warning. We're sitting at about a 20 second lag, people. I am looking at the chat. And Jen, you just bought that for $32. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. I'm going to throw my email in the chat for you. Yeah, please, everyone, uh, make sure you are sending at least the email at the very least. This way we know for sure we got contact. But we really want payment as well after the email is sent to the, the person who is auctioning. We'll send you the invoice right away while they're not auctioning. All right, so it's my turn, I guess, huh? Let's go, Nathan. I got six Walking Dead Funko Pops. We're going to start this at $25. You've got six for $25? Yes. We got Herschel Green. $258. I mean, if we, want, if we can get a bid for $250. I'll bring the first $25. put <laughs> it off for you. There's one. These are all boxes are all in great condition. You've got There's, six. Uh, Daryl. Good old Daryl. Is he the bat person? Uh, I don't know. Daryl's I'm not guy. a walking I'm not a walking dead fan, so I don't know. These are my neighbors. We Anything got, is in at twenty-five dollars. We got good old Rick Grimes. Let me take this comment off the screen. Yeah, yeah Rick was the main character. Hello, Amanda. We got Rick. He's no Justin Grimes, though. I think his name's Myrtle. 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 Yeah. We got Myrtle Dixon. <laughs> I'm horrible at pronunciation, so we got the governor. Governor. Hello, governor. I need to get yeah, in. Got both eyes. Got some glare here. Hold on. There we go. There you go. Right there. That's perfect. There you go. Getting used to my old new stuff These are in good shape. And then we have, last but not least, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name, but... Michonne. There you go. It's all... Sand, uh, Sand Dollar is in at 27. Buffalo Picker Tommy is in at 30. Have you been in at 32? What's that? Both of those are older pops, so I'm guessing some of those are probably pretty valuable. I, I literally just got these off the neighbor and just, uh, you know, uh, put them up. I didn't look at them at all, to be honest. Yeah. They could be killer, awesome pumps, but yeah, I mean, I, I honestly have no idea. Uh, dude, I think I think they probably are. Wow. Tommy Buffalo Picker is holding the high bid at $30 right now. Do I see 32 Yes, I do from Sand Dollar. Thank you, Sand Dollar. He is holding the high bid at 32 Do I see 34 those boxes Nathan look like they're really nice. His neighbor. Yeah, they definitely are. She was a That's she's a collector, so she you know basically bought them, just set them on the, you know, on her wall or whatever she had set up with them. Yeah, it's a big thing with Funko collectors is the boxes. Oh yeah, they're all in great shape. Yeah, they mm -hmm. look nice. Yeah, they look there like they're all store. Las Vegas thrift, Sunny. There are six pops in this group. Yes. 
Six lots. Ten dollars holding the high bid at thirty-two. Buffalo picker Tommy is in at thirty-four. Do I see thirty-six? Sandal, are you gonna put up with that? I mean, I know Tommy's a big guy and everything, but you gonna put up with that? Yeah, honestly, I did not look these up on eBay. I just, you know. Later, Glenn. Sand dollars in at 36. Do I see 38? Bye, Glenn. Have a good night. You guys, if you hear that fan, it's on my computer. It's an older computer. I need to take it apart and clean it. I apologize for the fan, but it's there. Las Vegas Thrift Sunny is in at 38. Thank you, Sunny. That is Sunny, right? Las Vegas Thrifts. You yes. know it. Okay. Sunny's got the high bid at 38. Do I see 40? Stan Dollar says, yes, Mama, I will give you 40. Who's going to give me 42? Tommy, where'd you go, baby? Where'd you go? What up, Mr. Buzzlot? Good to see you, man. Sonny's got all but one of them. Sonny's in at 42. Thank you, Sonny. Who's going to give me 44? Mr. Buys a lot. You're about to miss this lot of six Walking Dead Funko Pops. The bid is at 42. What are you going to do about it, Mr. Buys a lot? Sand dollars in at 44. Thank you. Who's going to give me 46? I don't see a bit of 46. I will count this down for sand dollar. Thank you, Tommy, for letting me know that you're out, baby. I appreciate that. We're going to go once to sand dollar for $44. Remember, guys, when I start counting down, there's about a 20-second lag. I don't stop and wait. Las Vegas Thrift Sunny is in at 46. Thank you, Sunny. Who's going to show me 48? We're going to go once to Las Vegas Thrift Sunny for $46. Going once for $46. Dan Dollars at $48. Who's going to give me $50? I will start counting down for Sand Dollar. Going once to Sand Dollar for $48. I am going twice to Sand Dollar for $48. Don't let the lag kick you in the butt. I did watch a little bit of Walking Dead, but Rick, Rick was my favorite. Fair he warning. Was, he was the coolest. Sand Dollar, my baby. You just bought this lot for $48. Congratulations. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you very much, Sand Dollar. Congrats. Sand Dollar. We got lobster. Howdy, All lobster. right, you guys ready? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change gears here and go to antique. So the first one is this vintage statue of a timekeeper, I guess you would say. He has a chain here. He's got he's got a story to tell because he's been he's been used and abused for sure. Got markings on the back right there. Yep, signed. Okay. He's complete, but he's dinged up. He stands uh, approximately 12 and a half inches tall. What's our starting bid, baby? Uh, this lot, we're going to start at $10. So we got this statue here. We have this vintage Lexar bottle. With the decal somewhat still on there. That's cool. It comes with whatever's inside. It's free. <laughs> and, uh, it's handmade. You can tell by just the way it's deformed. It's not. Uh, it's not machine or molded in any way. This is handmade. There's the uh, the cork and the bottom. I like again. the label. I like how the label is half there and half gone. Right. Check this one out. And this. 
This is a lot of three items. I might, I might vote. I might just uh, give you the bonus round to speed things up. But here's the other one. That's what's left. The other pieces of the label are inside. So these would have probably held various tonics. I'm thinking. Yeah. This one you can tell it's got a couple chips right here on this side here and over here, but you can tell this one is handmade too because of the lip is not perfect. Yeah. There's no seams in it. How nice. There's a slight imperfection of when they made it right there. So this one opening bid at ten dollars, guys. This bottle stands at seven inches and three quarter. This one stands at uh, almost seven inches. It's about uh, two and three quarters in diameter. <clears throat> this one's almost three inches in diameter. Now, I'm going to add to this lot at 10, starting at 10. Are you ready for this? Extra. Uranium salt and pepper shakers. What? Those will glow? Yep. Vaseline glass. The lids have seen better days. This one would be for pepper. This one would be for salt. That so is you get, cool. You get the free lids. So these two, uranium, Vaseline glass. Misha Renee is bottles. in at 10. Thank you, Misha. And this statue, $10. Those bottles are cool. Yeah. Those are cool too. You got a black light? Uh, no, I don't. Can you we see the green? Up the high bid at ten dollars. Do I see twelve? That's my favorite. I like that one. When those get dug up, they usually get broken. Yeah. These were under a house. I wonder if like, those held I wonder if those held um whiskey or bourbon. Um this one here or rum. Rum? This one here it looks like it has placed the pure or whatever. If you could read the very top there. That's French. Yeah. So it might have been uh might have been some sort of uh alcohol of some sort. Could have been perfume. Medicine. Yeah, or perfume. It was a lick elixir. Oh, it says uh, elixir. elixir. That that's, that's probably be. whiskey of some sort, because that back then used to cure everything. Misha Renee has the top bit at ten dollars. I will start counting it down for Misha Renee if I don't see another bid. Free shipping, free shipping. You get the two shakers, the vintage bottle. Here's the other one. We're going to go once to Misha Renee. And you get the old sailor man over here. <laughs> Ralph Fashion. Hello, Ralph Fashion is in at $12. Do Thank I see you, Ralph? Free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Welcome, Jody Kafka. We're all about a 10 to 15 second lag. These would probably go for about fifteen dollars, guys. These would yeah, go for about fifteen bucks. Misha Renee is in at fourteen. Do I see sixteen? Okay. This Lexer bottle probably go for about twelve. That's neat. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. I, I didn't want to get rid of it, but. It's been sitting for years since I've even gotten around to listing it. I wanted to keep this one. Myra but. would like to know if the uh, sailor has markings on the bottom. He had a signature from the artist, Myra. It's got on the back. felt on the bottom, and it's solid. And this thing is pretty heavy, but here's the signature. 1968, looks like. Misha is holding the high bid at 14. I am going to start counting it down for Misha. Hi, Glass City Pickers. How are you? I understand you've got a question for me. 
You need to hit me up, Glass City Pickers. We're going to go once to Misha Renee for $14. We'll go twice to Misha Renee for $14. You can sell these two right here and get your money back. Yeah, absolutely. Those are so cool. We've got about a 15 second lag, guys. Fair warning. Misha Renee, congratulations. You just bought that lot for $14. Thank you, Misha. My turn. You're a little Bill. grainy, Bill. I'm a little grainy? Yeah. Well, that's weird. It's cleared up a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. I got another uh, small lot of hats. These are all Brickyard 400 hats. They're uh, snapbacks. What are we starting at? Uh, let's do ten dollars. Okay. $10 and they're starting uh, bid, free shipping. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and uh, they're all new. They're different, or a couple of them are different anyway. Kevin, the thrifty lounge is in at ten. Thank you, Kevin. Do I see twelve? What up, Kevin? This is right up his alley. <laughs> this one don't have tags, but it's new also. They're all Logo 7 also. Misha didn't get your email, Lobster. Can you put it in the chat, please? I got it. Yeah. Thank you. This one's strap back instead of snap back. I think most of them are snapbacks, though. Cajun Reseller is in at 12. I like this one. Flips, Cajun was in just before you. Can you shoot a 13? Now, this one's got a $25 price tag on it. Nice. Glass City Pickers is in at 15. Thank you, Glass City Pickers. That one's got a $20 price tag on it. Those are LA Athletics, too. Those are old school. Yeah, the Logo, logo 7. Flips is in at 17. Do I see 19? Some of them still have the paper in them, too. Yeah, those are brand new. Definitely. How many yeah, hats could... are there, Bill? Huh? How many hats are there, baby? There's, I think, six. One, two, six? three, four, five, six. Yeah. Right now, Flips has got the high bid at $17. Glass City Pickers just swooped in with a bid of 19. This one's dated 95, 1995. Do I see 21? Flips is in with a bit of 21. We're in $2 increments now. Do I go. see 23? Yeah, Logo Athletic on the side. Yep. Logo Athletic was a good brand back in the day. Those are These hats. hats feel really nice. And, and like I say, some of them have $20, $25 price tags on them. Some of those price tags fell off, but they all had $20 or $25 price tags on them, on the rims of them. Richard's got the high these. bid at $21. Do I see a bid at $23? I don't know if they bought these at the racetrack or where they got them at, but they came from an estate. The guy had a whole bunch of race car stuff. I bought a, got a whole bunch of die cast stuff from him that I sold a long time ago, and these were more hats I found. I must have found over 100 hats when I was cleaning out there. Kevin, I'm not sure what you mean by that, baby, but if it's a compliment, thank you. That, uh... That one logo athletic one, that uh, the the one with the pretty like, one, it looks like a yeah the, that well, that one right there. That I bet you that's worth a lot of money, just because the, I know the sport ones are usually worth a good bit that are made with that. Well, it was it was twenty five dollars in nineteen ninety five. Flips is holding the high bid at twenty one dollars. I'm going to start counting it down for flips. We're going to go once for twenty one dollars to flips. Is one of those hats leather? Right. No, no I, don't think so. yeah. I think one of them is it one of these was yeah, one of these feels different than the other ones, but it's not leather. Kevin is in at 23. Thank you, Kevin. Looking for a bit of 25. It's got a blue strap on it that it's got gold embroidery on the front of it. 
Flips is in at 25. Thank you. Looking for 27. I think these are all embroidered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're Flipsies all embroidered. 27. Glass City Pickers Flips was in first with 25. Can you raise it to 27, please? This one's my favorite one, though. I like the splash on it. Thrifty yeah. Lounge, Kevin, it has to be $2 increment, baby. Thank you for the 27. Kevin has the high bid at 27. Do I see 29? Yeah, I'm pretty Mama sure that. Mama forgives you, baby. Mama forgives you. This is an inaugural race one. Cajun nice. comes in with a bid of 29. Oh, now I see a 31 oh. from Kevin Thrifting Lounge. Thank this you. This one's from 98. I see 33. This is another inaugural race. There's, I think these are the same, these, these purple ones. <laughs> I don't know Kevin why the guy didn't come in the same has a high bid at 31. I will start counting it down for Kevin. Going once to Kevin at 31. Glass City Pickers is in at 33. Do I see 35? Cajun, he would just beat you, baby. I would need to Oops. see 35. Oh, that happened. Well, hey, Lobster, what up? Bill, Bill ran away. Kevin, the thrifting Oops. lounge is in at thirty-seven dollars. Do I see thirty-nine? Well that was the that was a bad place for that hat to fall. It hit my space bar and shut the window. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, how'd that happen? I didn't click that box. <laughs> huh. I will start counting this down for Kevin at thirty-seven dollars going once to Kevin at thirty-seven dollars. Going twice. Cajun is, and he says, no, Kevin, I'm sorry, baby, but this race is mine. Cajun <laughs> is in at 40. Do I see 42? So there's four different styles, basically. Kevin is in at 45. Thank you, baby. Do I see 47? Cajun, are you really going to let him do that? Are you really going to let him do that, baby? We are going once to Kevin at $45. We are going twice to Kevin at $45. 15 second lag. I'm going fast and furious. It is not my fault if you miss a bit, guys. Okay, Fair this is out to Mr. Mr. NASCAR. <laughs> I am watching the chat, and Kevin, my love, you won that round for $45. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin. I'm back. Oh, Gary. All right. What we got next is a watch lot. These are 100%. Starting how much, honey? Uh, start 10 bucks on them. It's 100% wood watch. They're brand new. I opened one of them just to show you guys it's working. So you've got 10? 10 bucks, yeah. You've got 10 watches? No, no, I'm sorry. It's $10. I thought you asked how many I had. I got a total of three. Three I'll watches. Okay. Three watches. Oh, yeah. of 10. And they're all wooden watches? One's different. Here's the other one. That wood watch is so cool. Oh, I like that. Brand new. Looks like mahogany, maybe. I'll take it out for you guys. Gate City Picker is in at 10. Thank you, Gate City Picker. He was in before I even put it out there. It's what got is uh, the face on that. It's got like a little protector on it, so you can pull that off when you are when you buy them, you know? Yeah. It's nice. Working. It's still got the protector on it. Glass City Pickers is in at 12. Thank you, Glass City There's Pickers. One that's, uh, Gate City Pickers is in at 15. Open. Is there a brand name on those? Um, it's got a model number, 100249457. Uh, modern and material in walnut wood. Oh, it's genuine, walnut. Okay. Genuine leather band, comfortable feeling, stainless steel buckle. What's the third one look like? Glass City Pickers is in 18. Thank you. Do I see 20? Although Hubley watches are pretty durable. A Humvee watch. Wow. This one's really heavy. Yeah. 
Gate City Picker holds the high bid at 20. Now Glass City Picker holds the high bid at 22. Do I see 24? Kevin, you're going to model them for your Instagram and keep them. That's beautiful, baby. Well, that one, there's three of them. He could sell two and make his money back. <laughs> as big a racing fan as he is, I, I have no doubt he's going to keep them. Glass City Picker has the high bid at 22. I'm going to go once to Glass City Picker at $22. Well, I think that wood watch is the bomb. I like that wood watch. That's really neat. Yeah, wood grain on your watch. I'll take it off here. Here's the back. Here's the back of the watch. We're going twice to Glass City Pickers for $22. Because I know he's yelling at me. Mama, call it. Mama, call oh, the it. Backs would too. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> that is cool. Those are so nice. I think that Herbie watch I had, again. I sold it for 30 by itself and it was used. Buffalo Picker swoops in. Ooh. Just for the hey, man, I'm in, I'm in hot. Ralph Fashion, we go in $2 increments. I would need a bit of 26, please. Glass City Pickers is in at 26. I now need a bit of 28. This one's really nice. I like this uh, this Hummer watch here. I'll take it out. Yeah, they're heavy duty. I'm going to go once to Glass City Picker for $26. Yeah, Going twice to Glass City Picker for $26. That's a sharp watch, too. Yeah, the band, the band on that is in at 30. I love it when friends go back and forth between each other. Tommy Buffalo Picker's got the high bid at 30. Do I see 32? Are you going to put up with that Glass City Picker? I didn't think so. Glass City Pickers in at 32. What you going to do about it, Tommy? What you going to do about it, Tommy? You going to let him win? It's a neat watch. I like him. So, yeah. Beautiful. We're going to go once to Glass City Picker for $32. Include shipping, guys. Don't forget. Free shipping. Going twice to Glass City Picker for $32. Glass when City. I start counting down, that is the time to put your bids in, guys. Because of the lag, I cannot promise you your bid's going to show up before I call it. Please do not wait too long for your bids. Fair warning. Thank you for letting me know, Buffalo Picker, that you're out. I appreciate that. Glass City Picker, it is your lucky day, baby. You bought it for 32. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was buddy. a good buy. Great buy. Great buy. Thank you so much. Congratulations. All right, guys. So I got some WWE action figures, and I literally gave you as much as I can fit into a padded flat rate. So starting it off, we have. Where a, are we, what are we starting it off on, honey? We'll start it at fifteen dollars. All uh, right. Booker T. Uh, it's a WCW action figure, so it's old. This is from the nineties, um, nineteen ninety nine. WCW. This is also a WCW. This is a uh, Scott Hall Razor Ramon. Oh my goodness! Scott Hall does not look like that today. Nineteen ninety nine. Thrifting Lounge throws it down with a $5 super chat. This is a Thanks, newer Kevin. one of Alberto Del Rio. I'll he pass married that to my Paige. Mom. He married Paige from WWE Women's Division. Here's Drax from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, a.k.a. Dave Batista. Amanda Dominguez is in at 20. Thank you, Amanda. Shame. Who will give me 22? Who was that? Seamus? Yeah. Ray Mysterio. Flips is in at 22. Who will give me 24? 
oh, what the heck's this dude's name? He's from Love Resistance. I don't know if that's Rene Dupree or who it is from back in the day. He's from the early 2000s. This dude is too. Um, I don't remember what that guy's name is. I think Gate City Pickers telling me that Del Rio and Paige broke up. Uh, I think this is uh, Cody Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes' son. Man, he's got a lot of muscles. Who's that too? Yeah, he looks, looks got a little some veins in his neck. This is. I've got uh, flips for the high bit of 22. Who's going to give I me remember that dude's name? I don't know who if this is supposed to be like a cheap Goldberg or or I don't I don't know if anyone knows that logo or that guy is. It looks like a Goldberg Austin ripoff. This is uh, Gregory Helms, aka the Hurricane. We have got flips with the high bidded twenty two. Who's gonna give me twenty four? Little DDP yoga. Mm -mm. Is that Diamond Dallas? Yeah. Goes, oh my goodness. Bang, bang. bang. That was like you a gotta put him next to Scott Hall so we keep Scott yeah. Hall away from the bottle. When I was a kid, I, when I, I used to watch wrestling as a kid. I, I'd go bang. Uh, <laughs> Goldberg, that makes a lot of sense because it looks like Goldberg. Perfect. Uh, and then I think we have two of this guy Gilbert. <laughs> But yeah, that would make a lot of sense for that to be Gilbert. Gilbert was like WWE's like making fun of Goldberg type character. Yeah. So I'll count how many we got here. So there's one. Dan Dollar is in at 24. Thank you. Amanda's in at 25. Amanda, we go in $2 increments after 20. I would need a bit of 26. Flips is in with a bit of 26. Now I'm looking for a $28 bid. I think we've got a little bit more than a 15 second lag, guys. So there is a total with the of, bid. There's a total of 14 in here. And if I can get this to seal, I will add one more to make it an even 15. But 14 WWE action figure. Jody's got the bid of 22. Sand Dollar is back in at 28. Thank you, Sand Dollar. Who's going to give me 30? Amanda's wanting to know, does anybody have any Tony Henson action figures? <laughs> you know, there actually is one. I just don't know where it is. It might be in my mom's house. But I'll throw in a little Captain Charisma, Christian himself. <laughs> He's got abs just like me. Yeah, just like me too. You just can't see him. The end dollar is the high bid at $28. I am going to start. Counting it down for Sand Dollar. Going once to Sand Dollar for $28. Yeah, there. I literally don't think I can get any more in there. So there's 15 now. I threw Christian in there for you, too. I don't know if you're going to be able to get that shut, Anthony. Oh, I'll get it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, yeah, it'll shut. Okay. Just hit that plastic We're bag with a heat gun. Just <laughs> need to get one of those stretchers, dog. <laughs> forgot your sticker, Anthony. Yeah, he's merch for Phil certified. Thank you, Kelly. Merch for Phil. Merch for Phil. Merch for Phil's gone out. Putting it back in. Uh, merch for <laughs> Phil's gone out in so many of these. It's been insane. Fair warning. This is going to go to Sand Dollar for twenty-eight dollars. And it is sold to Sand Dollar for $28. Congratulations. Thanks, All right. Back to moi. Back so, to the Nate man. Hopefully we have some more Walking Dead fans in the house. Because I got some more Walking Dead figures new in box. Right, Nate. So, so, have? And what we are have, we starting at? We're going to start this at 30. I have one, two, three, four, five. Five in box. And then two out of box. So we have seven figures. Whoop, Merle. Just trying to get used to this. We have one. We have good old Rick. These are in like perfect condition. She was a collector. 
for whatever reason, she got rid of this. I don't know why, but I love them. Club the starting bid is $30. There's this a guy. player. There's, There's a player. Negan. Negan. There you go. Ah, oh, Negan. Nice. It's a uh, Negan. A sky bound exclusive. Yeah, look, I might have to turn my monitor off for a second or something. I made my light. Hold on. Ten dollars in it, thirty. That didn't help either. Just put it up close to the camera, baby. You got okay. a really good camera now. Now turn it just a little bit. There you go. And then now I have forward. a ten inch. Uh oh. Rick I Grimes. What? Inbox. <laughs> Brand new. Ten inches. He's a big boy. Come on, ladies. He's Every lady man. needs 10 inches. <laughs> 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 well, I guess so. Uh, there goes our PG rating. Right. And you this, were monetized. Here's one of the loose <laughs> figures. Now, just for uh, you know, full transparency, I believe this was busted off a little bit. Unless that's how it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess it was busted off because it it looks like it is, but I could be wrong. I'm not a Walking Dead fan. I wouldn't know, to be honest. Then this little guy. Oh, thing I had. Oh Lord. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then as an added bonus. We have a, a pillowcase. The Walking Dead. Oh, look at that. You can sleep with Daryl. Oh, I better cover some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Nate says, I don't like what? monetization. <laughs> We've got seven pieces, one of being a 10 inch tall figure. We've got a top bid of thirty dollars from Sand Dollar. I am looking for a bid of thirty-two. We're getting seven epic pieces, guys. That is not bad. That guy right there is worth your thirty dollars. Yeah. Is that by McFarland, Nate? Yeah, this is McFarland. I have the Negan version, and like it could theoretically go for up to forty dollars, depending yeah. on just that piece alone. I was looking at if anybody before. that knows anything about McFarland, they do sports figures too, and they do such intimate details and graphic details to their characters that it's awesome. They really take their time. Junk Girl Penny, are you bidding uh, $30? Because I have a bit of $30, so I would need a bit of $32. But Junk Girl Patty says 10 inches for $30. <laughs> yep, she says, sorry for putting numbers in the chat. You, that's okay. So I will these, start counting this down for sand dollar. These ones, these, there's three of these. These are McFarland as well. These are McFarland. The oh, big yeah, one is McFarlane, yeah. and then that that one that's out of the box is McFarlane, and then like I said, this one is. So the only one that's not McFarlane is this one here, which is a Skybound exclusive. Going once to Sand Dollar for thirty dollars. The, the other ones are from the TV show. Yeah. You're good, Patty. Don't worry about it. No worries. And I then the, and then the exclusive uh, Daryl. We're gonna go twice to Sand Dollar for thirty dollars. <laughs> He's nobody's bit. Yep, nobody's bit. <laughs> <laughs> you get the drift. Fair warning. Oh, those are. <laughs> That's a good. Uh... Look at, that, there. look at that Grimes. That thing is crazy. He looks like Bradley Cooper. Is that better with the glare? 
You know who he looks like? Million dollar. A lot like Andrew Lincoln. You just bought that lot for thirty dollars. Thank you, Sand Lawn Sand Dollar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Glass City Picker, you let the lag get you. Okay, you guys, ready? In this lot, we're gonna start off at twenty dollars. This is a game lot. Five items in this lot. The first one is the Nickelodeon Slime Kit 2017. It's complete, unopened. What are we okay. starting at? $20, Mama. $20. $20. Five Thank items you. in this lot. So Nickelodeon Slime. This retails on Amazon for about uh, $15 to $19. eBay is about the same price. Then I have a 2018, I believe, uh, 2018 Minecraft Slime Kit. 2018. Again, this is $20, free shipping. Everything's included, unopened. Everything you see on the back is in the box. That's item number two. No, item number three is a 3D drawing kit with an LED light on it. Again, everything you see is $20, free shipping. That's item Looking number three. For starting bid at $20. Number My four is Simon Hasbro, like 2015. Well, that's a different Simon than I remember. Yeah. This is called the Simon Air. And then to seal the deal, and it's still factory sealed, a Texas Hold'em poker game. This is vintage. This is from 19, uh, I don't want to say 96. No, sorry, 2004. Jungle Patty is in at 20. Jen, she just beat you. I need a bit of 22, please. So you got the Texas Hold'em poker game, Las Vegas style, sealed, 2004. The Hasbro Simon Air, which is a 2015, unused, unopened. Got the 3D drawing board. Which doesn't have a date on it. And then you've got the Minecraft slime kit. Again, keep in mind this is free shipping. This Jen is a uh, twenty-two. Thank you, Jen. Two thousand eighteen. And then the Nickelodeon slime kit. Keep in mind Christmas is coming. In at twenty-four, looking for a bit of twenty-six. 2017 on this. So you get Nickelodeon, Minecraft, the drawing, the Simon, and the Kenny Rogers special, Texas Hold'em. Mm -hmm. Jump Girl Pet is in at 26, looking for a bit of 28. No when to fold them. Oh, that is a super deal right there. No when to run. run. Count your money. Sitting at the table. table. There'll be time enough. When the when deal is done. There you go. A lot of items. Free shit. Young girl Patty is in at 30, looking for a bit of 32. There you go. Thank Keep you it going. Go, go, go on. That the uh, Simon Air is $25 by itself. Sold, yep, cars. yep. This is my last one. That's why it's going reseller up. is in at 32. Thank you, Jen. I was selling these on Macari and eBay for $19. I was selling these for $19. Uh, this one I, I sold for I think it was 12. And then this was the only one I had of this. Um, which I've had for my own personal collection only because it was sealed. So that I have on eBay for like 30 some bucks. So there's, Patty, there's money in here. Or thank you, Patty. Can I see a bit of 36? And yes, I got it from Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Can I see a bit of 38? <laughs> I still have the Kitty Rogers uh, picture out there. I'll have to do another live with him. Thanks, well, Johnny. You and I sound good together, Lobster. 
Yeah, I grew up in Kenny Rogers. Yeah, literally that that uh, that Simon Air sold today for thirty five dollars. There you go. See, Andrew Roots is the high bid holder of thirty six dollars. Do I see thirty eight? Now he's gonna get his money. We're gonna go once to Johnny for thirty six dollars. What the heck you are? She Come on now. Do I see forty? What? Come on now. Bobby's <laughs> gotta pay for the food for the babies. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate everything you guys are doing. So. Johnny has given forty dollar bid. Mm. Do I see forty two? Show me the money, baby. Come on, show me the money. He says, I'm sending my address to a stoner. A bill stoner. We're going to go once to Cajun reseller Johnny at $40. Young girl Patty is in at $42. Like heck you are, mama. Cajun Roots is in at $44. Who's going to give me $46? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Show me the money, baby. <laughs> Daddy loves to eat Cajun, so I'm thinking she's going to keep fighting you, Johnny. You got the Simon Air. Ba boom ba. <laughs> Little Minecraft. Come on. Cajun is at 44. I'm going to start counting it down for Johnny. Going once to Johnny for 44. Come on, Johnny. It's all you, baby. Come on. Come on, Junk Girl Patty. <laughs> We're going twice home, baby. to Johnny for 44. Thanks for letting me know you're out, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Thank you for the race. Oh, looks like we got Farmer 77 in the house. What up? We're going to go fair warning to Johnny Cajun Roots Reseller. Whoop. I'm watching the chat. Here we go. Where we go? And that is sold occasion roots reseller. Daddy's going to buy some new shoes. You got the gavel on that, Johnny. Congratulations. Cajun roots. Nice yeah, job, Johnny. What's our starting bid, Bill? I got an order. Is it West Max Gary next? Or is it Bill next? I can't remember. It don't matter. Good. Go Bill. Bill. Let's go, Bill. It was Bill anyway. Okay, I just want to make sure. Bill, I can't hear you, baby. Bill can't hear you. Yeah, Bill, you're still muted. You you hey, let's do another lot of hats. Hey, <laughs> what's our starting bid? Twenty bucks. This one says Major League Baseball. It's a small, medium. Snapback. There's one with an Indian on it. Snap back. I don't know what brand this is. Tags faded on it. There's there's 10 hats in the lot anyway. Here's a catch the fever snap back. And this is a, I don't know what brand. The game. There's a University of Missouri. A strap back. And it's uh, college licensed. And San Antonio Spurs snapback. Looking for a starting bid at twenty dollars. This one is uh, says official license NBA. I don't know. It's old tag. Junk girl Patty is in at twenty. Thank you, Patty. Is a mecca. Farmer 77, if you win a lot, you email your information, your PayPal email address to the person that you win the lot from, but you do not need to pre register. This one's a heat. That's pretty neat. I thought so too. Patty this holds a high bid at 20. Do I see 22? Flip this says, is... you do, Mama. I will give you 22. NBA UNK is the brand name in it, it looks like. Cajun looking for a bit of 24. Another one with an Indian on it. This is a fitted, um, this is a hockey one. Blackhawks. 
Blackhawks, yeah. NHL. Whoops has the mm-hmm. high bid at 22, looking for 24. That's a 59.50 hat. New era. And then Mighty Ducks. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. This one's got a little issue on the. It's, is it, what do they call it? Distressed. Cajun's in it 25. Thank you, Cajun reseller. Do I see 27? Usually I toss hats have stuff on, but I thought the center ice hat was kind of cool, and I haven't seen this one before. Junk Girl Patty's in it 27. Thank you, Patty. Do I see 29? This last one, Ball State University, leather strap back. And it's uh, University Square, Flip, in USA. I need, I need a bit of 29. Thank you, Flips. I can't bend it down far enough. Flip there. says, I bid at 29. Do I see 31? That's a whole lot of hats right there. Ten of them. Flips has the bid at 29. Do I see 31? I will start counting this down to Flips for $29. Like I said, there were over 100 hats in that tote I found the other day. What brand was that heat hat? Kevin Thrifting Lounge is in at 31. Thank you, Kevin. Patty it's, looking for uh, a bid at 33. NBA UNK at 33 looking for a bit at 35. Yeah, that's neat. I've never seen a hat like that. that might it's be older. Awesome. It's an older one. It's made in Vietnam. It's uh acrylic and wool blend. John Girl Patty's in at 35. Thank you, Patty. Do I see 37? Flips gave me my 37. Who's going to give me 39? This one's wool blend, too. They don't use the Indian logo anymore, do they? We've got uh, 10 yeah. hats for $37 so. right now. And I'm going to start counting this down for Flips at 37 going once. I know the duck's oh, hat ain't there anymore. It's pretty cool. Need to see a bit of 39, guys. Does my camera look that blurry to you guys? To flips for $37. John Girl Patty is in at 40. Thank you, Patty. Looking for a bit of 42. Going once to Patty for $40. Thank you for letting me know you're out, Flips. Going twice to Patty for $40. Fair warning. I think I need a better camera. Your camera was good at the beginning. It just went blurry for whatever reason. I don't know. Patty, you just bought those for $40. Congratulations. Thank you, Patty. I have got a gavel. I feel like I should use it. Another game log, guys. Ready? How many, Harry? Uh, This is uh, 10. Two, four, six. Eight, and what seven. are we starting at, baby? Uh, 10 bucks. Boy, so you're a cheap. game. PS3 is UFC 2010. Like I said before, all the games I, I sell are really good shape. It's a beautiful uh, shape. Uh, family guy. Is that a game or a DVD? It's a game. It's a game. Those are clean. Your games are all clean. I mean, this is like... There's a smudge on there. Amanda Dominguez is in it. 20. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, Skylanders. Uh, 
You can eat off that. Oh, yeah. Hi, uh, Bell Milk. MLB 14. Whoops, um, Tiger Woods. Ooh, do I see 24? Super clean. And then now we got uh, some PS4 games here. This is Madden 18. <clears throat> uh, Madden 17. It's really cool. Okay. So once to flips for $22. Black Ops. You can't get more more uh, clean of a disc than you've got, Gary. UFC? Oh, I'm telling you. Look at that. Farmer77 wants to know, can you still guarantee it'll work after he eats off it? Oh, boy. Of course. It's not a big enough plate for me. It depends what you put on it. <laughs> Brittany Brands is in it. 24. So we got five PS4 and five PS3. Ten video games here, guys. Brittany's got the high bid of twenty-four. We're gonna go once to Brittany for twenty-four dollars. These sell so fast too. At twenty dollars, we go in two dollar increments. I'm looking for a bid of twenty-six, please. There are ten games flips. Five PS4s and five PS3s. Flips is in at 27. Thank you. Looking for 29. Jonathan bids 36. Thanks, Jonathan. Jonathan Alfaro with the high bid of $36. Nope, he meant 26. Well, Flips was in at 27, Jonathan. So the bit high bid at this point would be 29. Looking for a bid at 29. Flips is out. Jonathan's in at 30. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks, Jonathan. These things sell really good. Bid at 32. Hello, Jacob Fufu. -Fu. Oh, oh. Excuse me. I'm going to. Farmer 77's in at 35. Hello, Thanks, Farmer. Who will give me a bit of 37? I'll start counting it down for Farmer 77. We're going to go once to Farmer 77 for $35. Oh, it's a battle. Jonathan is in it. 37. Looking for a bit of 39. Lobster Cajun Roots reseller Johnny sent you his information. Got it. Thanks. Going twice to Jonathan for $37. Farmer 77 is in at 40. Looking for a bit of 42, please. Thanks, Farmer. Those are heavy to hold up, aren't they, Gary? Yeah. <laughs> little arm, yeah. I know. I hold up jewelry. It, it's a lot lighter than those video games, but your your biceps get a workout. Yeah, yeah, triceps, um, triceps I got a I got a Wii coming up, too, in box. Farmer 77's got it at $40 going once. Don't let the lag get you guys. Going twice to Farmer 77 at $40. 
fair warning. Counting my 15 seconds. Farmer 77, you just bought that for $40. Congratulations. All right. Thanks, Farmer. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to do some more toys. Uh, this is going to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lot. And what are we starting at? We'll start at 15, same as the other one. This is a uh, Dorb of uh, this is either Bebop or Rocksteady. Here, I, I think it might be Bebop. See on the bottom? Doesn't say. I think it's Bebop. This is like a uh, Hot Wheel of Leonardo. Like his turtle bike. So, newer figures, but like pretty... Like pretty good quality ones. Definitely not cheaply made. Mm -hmm. $10 is in at 15 And some of them are bigger, like this Donatello one and the Michelangelo one that I just had there. <laughs> is that a flashlight? Yeah, it's a Michelangelo flashlight. Oh, geez. They're like SWAT team turtles. So, a little catapult thing. Oh, nice. Dan Dollar holds a high bid at 15, looking for a bid of 17. Hold them all. <laughs> Careful where you're pushing there. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they would make that for a little kid to play with. <laughs> so let me count what's all in here. So we got one, two, three, four. Dan Dollar's got the high bid at 15. Who's going to give 17? So there's uh, 10 pieces all together in here. 10 turtles for $15. Who's going to well, give me 16? If it goes over 20, I'll throw in a brand new copy sealed of TMNT. Ooh. I'm going to start counting this down for Sand Dollar, going once to Sand Dollar for $15. Good guys always win. Are you ready to train? We're ninjas. Is that all you got? Time to shell out justice. Shell out turtle power. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every time I do that, people start bidding. <laughs> Sand Dollar just outbid himself from 15 to 20. Appreciate that, man. Kathy Ward is in at 22. Who's going to give me 24? All right. So I got the Blu ray in there for, in you. It for 24. Who's going to give me 26? Jerry Plant. We're lean, mean, and green. Yeah, Nate. The dollar is in at 26. Are you guys getting annoyed yet? That's so loud. <laughs> I'm annoying the heck out of myself. <laughs> I'm going to start counting this down to Sand Dollar, going once for $26 to Sand Dollar. We're going to go twice. Sand dollar for twenty six dollars. Turtle time, sand dollar. <laughs> Thank Fair you. Good morning. These are some cool turtles. I love them turtles. 
I was waiting Did on you put the sticker in there. Did you put the sticker in there? Uh, yeah, the sticker's already in there. Okay. I can't it at the bottom. Gotcha. Thank you. So Ray got two stickers coming his way now. All right, Sand Dollar, you bought Thank it for you, dollars. Congratulations. What? 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 What you got, Nate? I got some lithograms. What'd these are. Ahead? We're gonna start these at. Um, we'll start these at twenty. There is. These are nice, you guys. These are really nice. Oh, these the Disney ones. Yeah. Oh, there my is. Under attack. I can't remember how many there are in here. There are six of them total. There are three from. Uh, Princess and the Frog, and these are all Disney. They have they the little have Disney lithograms on right now. I just sold a uh, Aladdin lithograph the other day. These same, are all the same kind of thing. Yeah, these are all you know officially Disney. Looking so, for know, twenty dollar opening bid. You have that one. Then you have this one here. And then I got the good stuff. You get this nice little, you know, folder for the princess and the frog ones. And it's, you know, they just go inside here. It's like a nice little folder for them. Well, that's and nice. Then you got Tinkerbell and her friends. Well, these, are, these are also, these are like already matted up on a board. So you can, you know. Uh, hangies or whatever. Oh, ready to roll. Wow. Yep. You got Snow there? White. There's six all together. You got Snow White. Looking really for a $20 opening bed. And you got the littlest of Mermaid. I heard Mermaid stuff is hot, so. <laughs> well, these are all each in and of themselves collector's items. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are high quality, high quality. And these sell for decent money on eBay, too. I just sold that Aladdin one for 10 It wasn't even matted. Yeah. Flips has been in at 20 Thank you, Flips. I better Who's switch my email. Who's going to give me $22? Change that comment out of there. Hey, Maggie. Yeah, there's six all together. Definitely can't buy these anymore because these are vintage ones. My wife must be asleep right now because I, I hit her up. I was like, hey, Nate has some really cool Disney lithographs on. <laughs> and like I said, it has the folder for them. And Sylvia, some... they are uh, lith like lithographs. Yeah, they're official from. Let me try and find the thing. Like he's, this one's from 90. They're official lithographs from Disney. Yeah, these these all are. They're from There's Disney Store, aren't they? From Princess yeah. and the Frog, and there is. There's three of the Princess and the Frog, and then there's one of Tinkerbell. There's one of Snow White, and there's one from Little Mermaid. So six all together. These three come with a nice folder. Cajun resellers in at twenty two. Maggie would like to know if there's an artist's name on each of them. Um, no, I don't. I don't see any name. Um, they so just say twenty four. Like these, these frog ones are from two thousand ten, and it says lithogram exclusive commemorative, commemorative Disney store. But these are definitely all from you know their official Disney ones. And then, like I said, these are already matted, which that's that's a huge bonus. These are ready to rock and roll. Yeah, these are all nice. My daughter didn't want, want these, so I was like, all right, fine. I'll put them up for auction. I bet the matted ones cost twice as much at Disney Store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Matting's expensive. $24. I will start counting it down for flips. Let me see if the folder has anything. We're going to no. go once the flips for 24. 
No, the folder doesn't have anything at all. It doesn't say anything. That's nice having a folder with them. Keep them straight. Yeah. These are awesome. These are such nice, high-quality prints. We're going to go twice to flips at $24. You can frame the Princess and the Frog folder. You can put that on the wall, too. Or oh, open yeah. it up and let that colorful inside be on the wall. Definitely. Yeah, these are all exclusive. Oh. Farmer's in at $26. Thank you, Farmer. Looking for a bit of 26 or 28. Flips is in at 28. Thank you. Looking for a bit of 30. Farmers in at 30. Looking for 32. Thank you, Flips. We have 32. Looking for 34. A little mermaid. Like that one. That's my favorite, yeah, the mermaid. Legit. Farmers yeah. in at 35. Looking for 37. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one is from the 90s for sure, the Snow White. So it's got to be some more value there as well. Flips is out. Farmer's at $35. I will start counting it down for Farmer. Going once to Farmer for $35. That is quite a deal. Very cool. Going twice to Farmer for $35. He's just sitting there trying to play the banjo. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> He's like, I'm born a rambler, man. <laughs> Fair warning. <laughs> Thank you, Flip. <laughs> yeah, I was going to give these to my daughter, but she didn't want them. No, Daddy, I don't Farmer, want those anymore. you just bought those for $35. Congratulations. You, Here's my email across the screen. If you could send me an email, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Lobster, your time, buddy. What's up, man? What's up, Lobster? All right, so here we got a lot of 10 items, starting off at $15. They're all the same. So it's going to be really short, sweet, and simple right here. Boom. Reseller's delight. You can build, construct, destroy from the ceiling. They stick to the ceiling. There's four different colors. There's orange. There's teal, uh, purple, and black. There's 12 feet all included. Here's the box that they're in. There's 10 of them in here. At $1.50 an item, free shipping. Starts off at $15. I will send all 10 of these. And if you want to like more, Legos? Are they like Legos? Yeah, they, they go to, um, they stick to uh, curves or the ceiling or walls. You can put Legos on it. Uh, here's a picture of the back. So those stick to the wall or the ceiling, and then you put your Legos on the strip. Yep. Gotcha. Dollar fifty a piece, starting bid. You get 10 packages of these. $15 free ship. And if you thought, if you're thinking of selling them, hey, they range multiple quantities. Yeah. One of them ranges on eBay for five to nine dollars. There's that, that fluctuation there. So it, for an opening bid of $15, guys. $15 investment. And you're looking at anywhere between probably $50 to $90 in profit. Depending on what you're selling for. Those and if you really want more, cool. I got plenty more. Those are really cool. Come on down to the toy store. I just got plenty for you. You can 
upside down, around the corners on other toys, curved surfaces, sidewalls. You can cut them. They're flexible. $15 and they're yours. You get a box of 10. That is really cool. Brittany's holding the high bid at 15 Looking for a $17 bid. Come on now. Come on now. Help me cover the shipping at least. Vela Milk says, kudos to you, Lobster, for not opening all those and playing with them. I know, right? Stick them to my body. <laughs> Walk around like Lego maniac. Oh, let's not picture that. I was what? just thinking now I have Legos coming down from the ceiling. 17. Who will give me 19? Oh, you're going to get 10 of them. 10 of them right here. That's 120 feet. Flipping Frozen has the high bid at 17, looking for 19. You could sell them for about uh, five to nine dollars. I'd say like eight plus shipping. I'm gonna start counting it down for Flipping Frozen at 17. Going once to Flippin' Frozen at $17. Going twice to Flippin' Frozen at $17. There you go. Do Lauren, this. Friend of the Sandbox says, I want a kitchen island tiled on the side with Legos. There you go. You can start right now. Fair warning for flipping frozen at seventeen dollars. If you want more, I got more. I'm watching the chat. And flipping frozen, you just won those. Congratulations for seven. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, how about another lot of hats? Hey, why not? Another 10 hats starting at $20. Got starting a, bid $20, guys. Colts lacrosse hat. It's got embroidery all over it. Um, and if you like uh, Indiana, there's a bunch of Indiana hats in this lot. Here's a Firestone Racing signed by somebody. I don't know whose signature that is. Snapback. And it's from Firestone. Nate, can you drop Lobster's um, info in the chat? His email? I got it. This yeah. is uh, oh, you got it. Okay, my bad. Another snapback. I got it. I got it. Indiana snapback. This is a logo seven. Page your resellers in it 20. That's another hat. Is Who that Cincinnati? 22. Flips Cajun Just Beach. I'm looking for a bit of 22. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Flips is in at 22. Looking for 24. Snap back. Flips, you're good at 22. Stop out bidding yourself. This one's corduroy. It's a snap back. Cajun resellers in at 24. I don't know what brand that is. Image. This is an old mesh trucker foam Indiana snapback. So something on the back. Of it. At the high bid at $24. I'm going to start counting it down for Cajun Roots. There's a, I think this is that Oilers. Which one? That one in your hand? Yeah. That's uh, Baltimore Orioles. Orioles, that's right. Going once to Cajun Roots. That's a snapback. And then the West Coast Choppers is the last one. I like the West Coast Choppers. It's uh, denim, and it's a snapback. Yeah, Mom, I think uh, Flips was first. That's what and yeah, then the yeah. chats. Oh, yep. You were, Flips. I'm sorry, baby. 
No, wait. Cajun was at 20. Flips was at 22. And then he put 24 right after that. Yeah. Okay. Unless it doesn't say it on your end. I mean, I don't know. No, it says it on my end. Okay. Anybody know who signed this Firestone one? Uh... Yeah, that's what stinks about autographs. It's so hard to know who it is. I can never usually make them out. Looking Except for a big art, 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 pretty good at. I can usually tell his. If there's something you guys want to see, put it in the chat and I'll see what I can do. Flips is holding the high bid at 24, looking for 26. Kevin wants you to put it up to the screen, Bill. Which, oh, the Firestone one? Cajun is in at 26. Name that signature. Chip Ganassi. Is that what it says? It says, who's the autograph? Chip Ganassi. Flips is in at 28. Front I would have never missed that. Autograph again. <laughs> I don't see it, but it could be. I, I, I have no idea. I don't Can either. Resellers in at 30. Uh, Kevin, oh, 15 Kevin's, Lounge said, no, it's not. He's pulling our leg. I think this lacrosse one's pretty cool. Oh, a uh, NASCAR man says Bobby Hamilton Jr. Maybe I have no idea. Lips is in at thirty-two. Do I see a bit of thirty-four? Does it look like a Some B? Dark. Yeah, it might say Hamilton. Yeah, I can see that. I can see yeah. Hamilton Jr. on there, maybe. I see the Jr. Yeah, that that most definitely could be a good call there, uh, NASCAR man. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. It came um, in at thirty-four, looking for a bit of thirty-six. It came in a lot. I bought online auction up in Auburn. It was a collector. He had a bunch of diecast uh, cars, and and there was some stuff like this in there with it. There was some uh, oh, with those flyer things you get when you go to the race, the programs. There were some of those in there signed, and I sold all that stuff a long time ago. The hat's probably been out here for 10 years or better, maybe. I don't know. Cajun Roots or Cajun Reseller has the high bid at 34. We're going to count it down for him. Thank you for letting me know your outflips. Going once to Cajun Reseller for $34. Going twice to Cajun Reseller for $34. Farmer thinks it's Cal Yarborough. Yarborough? I don't know. Either way, it, I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, uh, Derek. Fair warning. Someone's so excited to give, good to give the shirt off his back to have his favorite person sign, whatever. Probably just wearing the hat. Yeah, I, that's what I would figure. Definitely. You figure when people go to these events, they just sign this. Yes. Sign my baby. The hat could have belonged to somebody in the pit crew, too, or in the pit area, because the, the guy that had the stuff they auctioned off where I got that and the, and the cars, they had something to do with racing. And Cajun Reseller, you just bought this lot for $34. Congratulations. Thank you, Cajun. All right. I was muted. All right, guys. We got some, uh, some die cast, 164 scale. What are we starting at? Let's start at 10 bucks. All right. There's three pieces, okay? Here's one. This is the Coca-Cola 1991. It's got a little wear on the box here. It's 
pretty neat. And then uh, this one's a uh, Texaco. It's like an old piggy bank. Open it up. It's got a couple. M is in it. Ten dollars. Thank you, Larry. Let's pull it out here. What up, Jimmy? That is sharp. It's really neat. And it's got a little key down there at the bottom. Yep. It's got a little bit of wear, but nothing crazy, you know? Everything's intact. Flips is in for 12. Who's going to give me 14? That thing comes up there. Um. Whoops has increased his bid from 12 to 14. Comes with these little guys. Linda is in at 15. Thanks, Linda. Shows you where you put your knuckles. And then uh, the third Dave one here. 16. Who will give me 17? Uh, 1950 Chevy. It's a pickup truck. It's a die cast. I'll pull it out so you guys can see it. That's really cool. What's presented? 18. Who will give me 20? Dan Dollar's in it. 20. Who's got 22 for me? I'll pull it out of the wrapper so you guys can see it. What's is in it? 22. It's really heavy, too. Really heavy. Dan Dollar's back in it. 24. Super clean. Flips is in it. 26. Thank you, Flips. Who's going to give me 28? That is Buster. sharp. Cajun Reach Reseller say paid his inv invoice in full. Sand Dollar is holding the high bid at $28. Do I see 30? That is so sharp. Ask our men, so that's a Hemmings uh, Motor News exclusive. Schools. Is there a year on the bottom of that? Farmer wants yeah. another year. Larry M is in it 30. Thank you, Larry. Looking for 32. This is licensed by GM Corporation. Replica of a night. 1950 Chevy pickup. Dollar has the high bid at 32. Who will give me 34? It's this guy. This guy. These things are really heavy, too. Ooh. This truck is super clean. All the little details on it. I'm going to start counting this down for Sand Dollar at $32. Going once to Sand Dollar for $32. Going twice to Sand Dollar at $32. Hey, Justin Grimes. What's up, my man? What up? Fair warning to Sand Dollar at $32. There's a key at the bottom, too. A little piggy bank. This truck is super clean, though. They're dropping that knowledge. You said 94. That's yeah. Great. Sand dollar, my man, you just bought that for $32. Congratulations. Congrats. Larry, Larry, you were a little too late, Larry. Yeah, that was a good deal, man. Yeah, that's a really good deal. Thank you really? so much. The paint and decals on that look really super nice. 
Oh, yeah, that, was, that was definitely sweet. So uh, we are going. Guys, I tell you, Larry, I'm so sorry that you missed it by like three seconds. Once I start counting it down, guys, get your bid in right away. Hey, let's, hey, let's, fooling. Hey, let's fooling take, nobody. Let's take a quick, quick pause. Let everyone refresh their, their browsers and everything just in case uh, they're a little bit laggy or behind. So this way, you know, nobody's behind real quick. Let's take uh, just a one minute, two minute thing. Guys, when I'm calling this and I am looking directly at the chat, right at the chat, looking for that bid to pop up. And when I say you bought it, there's no other bid there. It comes in after I say, you know, sand dollar, you bought it or sold the sand dollar, whatever it is that I say. I have to see that bid before I start to say that. So don't let that lag get you guys. I'll give it like one more minute so everyone can kind of restart real quick if they want to refresh or whatever. Just Why you guys are doing that? Um, if you're not subbed yet to Justin at Grimes Finds, show him some love. He's trying to get the 100,000 by the end of May. So, Hunter K in May. Yeah, or by May. One K Shoot for the stars, May. Devil Dog. Shoot for the stars. Tell Gina I said hi, Justin. It's just as uh, in this in that view, uh, Nate looks like he has Bill's arms and hands cracking me up. <laughs> oh yeah, when I had my camera tilted down. Uh, yeah, I'll grab Grimes' link. Give me one sec. Yeah, I think I have uh, one last uh, one last lot, Nate, because I got to finish field day in my house, man. All right, you out of here, lobster. I got one more, one more to do. We're gonna, we're gonna try to break over that hundy so we can help pay for that new washer and dryer we just bought. Oh, there you go, time. man. How did the move go? Everything go okay? All by myself, man. Seven days huffing and puffing, freaking right. shit up the I'll stairs. Offer, you know? <laughs> I know, dude. I know, but you know, yeah. having five kids, one in the womb, a pregnant wife. Right. That's a lot of work, you know, man. And it's hot as heck out here, dude. Oh my god, I don't know yeah. what I was thinking moving away from the beach. All right, I think we we let enough time to for everyone to refresh and all that fun stuff. Pittsburgh, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> he waited for me to take a drink. To, to start then I have to be. I have to be fair for everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna start this at ten dollars. This is gonna be a lot of Pokemon cards. Ten dollars. Well, I'm just gonna kind of go through them. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason for why any of these are in here. They're just pretty much the only ones I had left. Are they from a certain uh, year or anything? These ones that I'm showing you right now are all newer ones. If I get to any older ones, I'll let you know. But yeah, this is all like brand new. Like within the last two or three sets have been released. So I just found some of those in my shed the other day. Ten dollar is in it. Ten. So none, of, none of the none of the ones I'm showing you guys are like ultra rare or anything. So I'm just showing you like some of the commons, uncommons, and then there'll be like regular rares and hollow rares in this stack. And then I have other stacks that have the more rare stuff in it. So Flux has got it for twelve dollars. Who's gonna give me fourteen? Well, I'm kind of just going fast through these because these are just kind of regular type cards. Well, I assume if you know anything about Pokemon, you know what you're looking at. So exactly. But for those of you that don't, I'll kind of explain like the more rare ones whenever we get to them. Lobster, I'll, I'll let, let you go. go the new characters that just came out. So these are I'll like let you, I'll let you go next. So you can take my spot next, and then I'll go after you. And some of these are hollow. Some of these are like brand new trainers that people are looking to build decks with. Flips is holding the high bid at twelve. Who's going to give me fourteen? 
We'll be getting into some better stuff here in a second. We get through some of these trainers. Trainers are really good to sell because uh, the majority of most decks for competitive play are made up of trainers. There's a crap ton of trainers here. So this is a GX card. It's an ultra rare. This is Decidueye. This is a regular rare, non hollow. Reverse hollow. Got two of these ones. These ones are hollows. Reverse hollow rare. Hollow. 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 Reverse hollow rare. This is a hollow, and this one you can only get at the movie theater. That's from Detective Pikachu. This is a uh, reverse hollow rare, but this is from uh, Pokemon League. It's the only place you can get it. So that little logo is there. So I've got a little bit more rare. And the rest has outbid himself from 12 to 14. So Flips has the high bid at 14. This is a play set. So there's four of these in here. So the rest of the things you're going to see are all play sets. That makes it easy for building decks. So there's four of those. Four of him. Four of Pokemon Ranger. Four of Professor Sycamore. Four enhanced hammers. Four Pokemon catchers. Four rare Yon Megas. Four Professor Sycamores. Four hollow Yveltals. Those are also rare. Uh, four Brock Grit. I think there's only two of these Professor Elms Lecture. Um, four Sophocles. Two packs of four, so eight total Super Scoop Up. Uh, four Gardevoir Spirit Links. And I think there's eight of these Holographic Energies. They're all water. Flips is holding the high bid at 14. I will start calling it down for him. We are going to go once to flip for $14. That's all the more rare. And these are all the more common ones here. Hey, Philly Picker. Welcome, Philly Picker. Twice to flips for fourteen dollars. You know what? Let me uh, sweeten this a little bit. I have uh, uh, a couple, I have a couple more sealed Pokemon things here. Uh -oh. So this one is a sealed promo from Detective Pikachu from the Pokemon Company. Still sealed. It's worth about $16. Put that in there. And then this is a pack that you could only get at the movie theater for uh, the Detective Pikachu movie. It comes with a few cards and normally it's a... Uh, and then one other character from the movie. So we'll throw those two in there as well. Between well, these, it's probably like a 20 or 25 dollar value. To $16. So Flips is holding the high bid at 16 So we'll go once to Flips at $16. Oh, Cajun Roots Resellers in at 17. Johnny holds the high bid at 17, looking for 19. That's for fail. Sand Dollars in at 19, looking for 21. Flips is in at 20, looking for 22. Johnny holds the high bid at 17. Mm -hmm.
Got to go in $2 increments. So Flips had the bit high bid at 20. I'm looking for a bid of 22. Sand dollars in at 23. Looking for 25. What up, Flips Alex? 25. Looking for 27. Miss the turtles, man. We had the turtle power. $25. Looking for 27. F is in the heel. Cajun Roots Reseller is in at 27. Looking for 29. Sand dollar. Looking for a bid of 29. Everybody make sure you're in live chat. Yes. Yes, please. Flips answers the call for 29. Who will give me 31? Sand dollar says, Mama, you know I will. Who will give me 33? Johnny looking for a bit of 33. Flips is in at 33. Looking for 20, or excuse me, 35. Flips says, you know what? <laughs> How you doing, fat man? How's mama's favorite fat man? Sand Dollar is in at 35. Thank you. Oh, that was your favorite fat man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. We're not going to argue over boys. You know, my because there's enough mama to go around. <laughs> Cajun has the high bid at 37. Thank you for letting me know you were out, Flips. We're going to count this down to Johnny at $37. Going once. Sand Dollar says, Mama, I'm your favorite fat man. I'm in at 39. <laughs> oh, shit. Flips is, like, wait, oh, okay. Flips is like, oh, hell. I'm giving you 41. I'm your favorite fat man. <laughs> Frank says, wait, wait, wait. I thought, never mind. Cajun <laughs> Roots reseller, I know you want to be my favorite, but in order to do that, you got to throw me a bit of 43. Looking for a bit of 43. Let's see if I have any other Pokemons in my little... Sam Dollar has got the high bid at 43. Who wants to be Mama's favorite fat man? Come on. <laughs> all right. Looking for a bit of 45, and I'm all yours, baby. Okay, so here's three more hollows. And yeah. these are all worth at least who wants, who wants a piece. Fat mama? And who wants then this is a place that of N. Which is probably for these four, it's probably valued around five bucks too. Yeah. Uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Everybody take a shot. Batman, no, you're still my favorite. I'm not auctioning. Oh off. my god, dude. I'm gonna put these in too. These are good for digital packs for anybody that yeah. plays a card game online, but you can sell these on eBay too. And you just like send the winner the code. So I'll put those in as well. Alex, you'll always be my favorite fat man. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try to bring a little laughter to the auction. <laughs> Anthony, keep, Anthony keeps putting peanut butter on the sandwich, man. He keeps adding it. Sand Dollar is holding the high bid at 43, and it's going to go up. once to Sand Dollar at 43. Do not disappoint me, gentlemen. Please throw your uh, bid in there soon. I don't think that the deal. they're smart enough to know to do that. I have to remind you, man. I'm sorry. Matthew, we've been on the sand dollar at forty-three dollars. We got a huge Pokemon lot that Anthony just added on, added yeah. on. Like, yeah, of, these are basically like rares, uncommons, trainers, that kind of stuff. Uh, we got some codes. Are you throwing more in there, man? No, I'm just kind of showing them. Yeah. Like I'm. A bunch of play sets of stuff, bunch of hollows. I'm going for four for sand dollar. I'm counting down my lag. Yeah. All right. I'm looking at the chat. Those are all lots of four. Sand dollar, you have won that for forty-three dollars. Congratulations! Congrats, Ray. Very, very bring it home the pain. I'm gonna bring lots of in. What's up? What's up? How much was right, so it? Forty-three. Oh, forty-three dollars on that one. All right, so Mama, here we go. Last lot. I'm feeling generous right now. I'm actually going to feature one of my uh, 
items. This I this auction right here is going to consist of items. It's going to start at eight dollars. Now this particular $8. one, eight dollars. We're we're feeling we're feeling generous. I just added up the numbers from everybody's generosity. I got one person still out there in the wind, but you know what? I accomplished my mission. I set out to make a hundred bucks, and we did it. So at this point, I just want to get rid of this. But this. These two items, we're going into the kitchen now, okay? Everyone take it easy. Here we go. First one I'm gonna feature <laughs> is the taco book that I the gag with my wife. And this is the box. It's a, one of my videos on my channel where she thought I actually bought an actual taco truck and she got pissed. <laughs> Frank but is in it 10. It, it was basically two of these, unscathed, unused, these would have been great for Cinco de Mayo. They'll be perfect for everybody's Taco Tuesdays. So you have the two trucks that come in a box. Are they taco holders or do they cook? Yes. You know, they're actual taco holders. You put the tacos inside here and you can you can hold them. Or you can prepare them in the hard shell off shelf. But being in a Mexican family, my wife doesn't like these because we don't do things like that. We do things a different way. So you get this in a box, free shipped, just like so, okay? Then the next one is the Twinkie Maker, okay? Now, mind you, this right here, this sells for about $19, $20. I paid $8 for this at a thrift store. Look at that right there. I paid $7.99 at the Goodwill. Frank has the right here is ten dollars. Who's gonna give me twelve? This Twinkies maker. These sell for about nineteen dollars on eBay. Check it out. Unused. You get the Twinkie filling. Baker's. Uh, what do you call it? The Baker's pouch. You get the manual. It still has the styrofoam and the plug protector. It is blue in color. Unused, ready to rock and roll for some Twinkies. So you can have Twinkies. Taco Tuesdays and Twinkie Wednesdays. <laughs> that's awesome. All I need yeah, is some that's... filling. Yeah, Twinkies on, make... Twinkies on Thursdays. You gotta have you gotta have a day of rest, right? <laughs> Frank has yeah, got the high bid of ten dollars. Who's gonna give so that's me where we're at with that? Free shipping. Lobsters Free shipping. can definitely let definitely be my hype man if I need one. If I ever need one, I'm calling lobster that, that yeah. at the show. If you pay today, like all the other ones that have paid today, it's going out in tomorrow's mail. I take it very serious about getting my what? items out. Fast shipping. What? Yes. <laughs> That's because I merch for food. Merch for food. <laughs> Amazon's got me groomed. So where are we at? Right. Twelve dollars on this. I gotta start counting down to Frank for ten dollars. Okay, that's fine. I'm feeling generous. It's the last one Go the kids just walked in. Go I'm have to bid for Frank for ten dollars. Ten dollars for all that. Taco Tuesdays. Look at that. Taco Tuesdays. Twinkie Thursdays, right here. Free well, shipping. Those Twinkie things are at least twenty to thirty dollars. Right? Nathan, it. Yeah, these sell. I'm a fat man. I like twenty dollars on eBay. That's what a hell of a deal. I like Twinkies. Nate, every damn hustle last, is in last it. Last one of the day, folks. Those things last work one pretty of the good. Day, right yeah. here. Do I see a bit of fourteen? I like Twinkies. <laughs> unused, <laughs> both unused. The box on this Do I one. See a bit of fourteen. Box on this one's got a little bit of damage, 14. but it's unscathed. Who's gonna get fifteen? Who has fourteen? Mama? Just think when they stop making Twinkies you again, you get fourteen. I am looking for a bit of fifteen. Sand dollars in it, sixteen. Who will give me eighteen? Alex said, "Woody Har Harrelson likes Twinkies." You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so 
Sand Dollar is shipping. Only 16. I'm going to go once to Sand Dollar for $16. Awesome. Awesome. I am going to go twice to Sand Dollar for $16. Do not let the lag get you. Fair warning. That target truck's cool too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you get a chance, check out the videos. <laughs> you made a video of the taco truck? Yeah, she thought I went and I was supposed to go to the post office. She thought I bought a taco truck and she got mad. <laughs> now, see, my I'm wife didn't even think I was kidding if I told her I bought a taco truck. And yeah. she knows I want one. It is your lucky day. You have bought that for sixteen dollars. Awesome. That awesome. was a good Thank deal. Thank you very much. And you got a little, you got a little souvenir from the lobster right there. There you go. Uh, send me your information. I'll go ahead and get that out. Nate, guys, I want to thank you very much for having me on today. Thank everyone else for paying and buying the stuff here. I appreciate it. So I got to go. Family's home. You're gonna help mama. Bye. No problem, man. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great night, man. All right, Brian. Take care. Lobster. He's that's a great guy right there. I like lobster. Yeah, he's always fun. Yeah, oh, if you're not hilarious. subscribed to lobster, please do go subscribe. All right. I got some vintage toys. One toy that mama will will, will uh recognize real fast. Wait a second. You got a toy that I want? No, no. I said you'll recognize. Oh, okay. What are we starting at? Uh, we're going to start this at 25. Okay. This You're not is... selling Chuck, are you? No, Chuck's staying with me. That but I do have... I do have... Ah! I have no arms. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot it's of... Mine. There is a few that are missing pieces. But there are a few ones that have all their pieces. So this is a mixture of both. So if you have something that might be missing a leg, here's the leg you need. <laughs> or, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a couple of these just don't have pieces to them. You know, there's another guy with no arms. I think those are my brother's toys. These were from my neighbor. So these are definitely vintage like He-Man and different other things this one There's lost its head to some of those old ones though even even broken like, I know oh yeah definitely with uh nascar man uh he was there grabbing all the broken pieces oh yeah there's that guy with no arms that was a he-man guy too this guy's missing just a hand so he's not too bad he must have been in the war or something because he got the helmet on he lost his hand in the war for a starting bid at 25 guys Another another guy with no arms. This is the parts lot, man. No, I got full ones. I got full ones. I think this is the last one without uh, or Skeletor. Skeletor. With one missing arm. Darth Vader's grandpa. <laughs> that would have been hard right. to have full, man. That would have been expensive. Right. So this is a full functioning all there piece. He's a little bow legged. I don't know why he's doing that right now. Is oh, he a go. cat or something? Yeah, I, I think so. I'm not sure about this one. But he's he's solid. Then you got this guy. I, I, th I think he's He-Man? I think so. <laughs> looks like it. Yeah, I, I knew he was He-Man. He That's what Nate looks like about his hat. Yeah, I saw definitely. Skeletor purple... <laughs> Uh, Ram staff a couple months ago for I think it was like fifteen or twenty bucks for just the staff. Yeah, I mean this. Even though they're, those pieces or those figures aren't complete, those those are money. Those are money. I don't know who that this, is. I'm pretty sure he's He Man too. I, I, honestly, I can't remember. I haven't seen this thing in a long time. And the last piece here is let me get him right. Kitty cat. That's He Man. Yes. He has like the little. Uh, it's like a specialized radar bird. or whatever. Yeah. Kathy Ward is in it. 25. Thank you, Kathy Ward. Who's going to give us 27? 
I think Jacob said this guy is Cyclone. Yeah, his his thing spins, yeah. Just, right, with just, just the just the full figures, there's money, big money. And then, then, like I said, these are still money. Definitely, if you look them up online, for sure. well worth. Uh, I lost my head over this auction. What? Let me see that blue He-Man again. Oh, uh, the blue He-Man? I wonder if that's the faker one. No, that's different. I don't know which one that's from. His torso spins. Yeah, all these, the, they either move or twist or whatever. Let's do the twist. Kathy Ward has the high bid at 25. Who's going to give 27? I'm going to start counting this down for Kathy. Going once to Kathy Ward for $25. This guy is complete. What you looking at, Willis? Oh, Going I lost twice arms. to Kathy Ward for $25. I lost my arms. What the hey? Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, everyone. Fair warning. Kathy's going to make some money today. Here's this. 84 Mattel. Set it on his back. 80s toys do great. Oh, yeah. 90s too, really. The, this one by itself. It's called Cyclone. This one might be, uh, might make her money back by itself. Uh, hey, man. Kathy Ward, you just bought this for $25. Congratulations. She, nice she, she stole it. Oh, I better put the right email. Kathy Ward, this is my email. Here. Thank you, Kathy. Congratulations, Kathy. Where are we going? Uh, Bill. <laughs> what you got, Bill? I got my hand. Oh, I got <laughs> a lot of. What are we starting at? Oh, I don't know. Let's do ten. Okay. Most of these are uh, some champions, something racing champions, except for I think these four. The rest of them are all the racing champions brand ones. Let me give you a walk around the car lot. <laughs> I think there's like 20 of them all together. Any no red miles. Red? Only driven on race day. This one's kind of neat here. <clears throat> Flips is in at 10. Sand dollars in at 12. Looking for 14. <clears throat> Flips is in at 14. Looking for 16. I don't know what this one. What's that say on it? Ah, it's blurry. Uh, I don't know why it won't focus. There it goes. Team Sabco picking one dollar ups his bid oh, from four. It, oh, it's, it's uh, Lips is in at eighteen. It's got the nuke on it. Something pilgrim. Yeah, Sand dollar is up to 20, looking for 22. John Wayne's on it. That's who that is on the front of it, is John Wayne. 
Flips is at 22, looking for 40, or excuse me, 24. <sighs> Flips is holding the high bid at 22, looking for 24. Well, the way this moves around is almost as bad as watching one of my videos. Sand Dollar is in at 24. Looking for Thank a bid 26. Thank you, Farmer, for your payment. Appreciate it. Can you not eat that? No, please. Oh, no, I got the email from eBay about managed payments. Oh. No. Oops. Thank you, Flips, for letting me know you're out. We'll count this down to Sand Dollar, going once to Sand Dollar at $24. I really got to clean my desk up. I wish I could buy I wish I could buy a car, bunch of cars for twenty four dollars. Going twice to Sand Dollar for twenty four dollars. Okay, buddy. Fair warning. Congratulations, Sand Dollar. You just won that for $24. That's a heck of a lot for 24 bucks. Yes, I it is. Congrats, Sand Dollar. Awesome. All right, we got Gary coming up. Sand Dollar cleaning up. What you got, up, Gary? Bro? We got Joe stuff. Woot woot. Look out. What are we starting at? We'll start this at uh, 15. Fifteen dollars free shipping. Well, AR. Whoops. Got the hard hat. It's nineteen ninety six. Right. Comes with a big, big parachute in the back. This thing's huge. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's in really good shape. It comes with a little AR. Ogie World is in at 15. Sand Dollars in at 17. Got the clip. Ogie World is in at 19. Bump stock in the back. It's got a clip that goes in there. Yeah, take the clip That's out. See it. Cool. So that guy, then this guy here. Do another one, a little bump stock in the back. Part comes out. You sure that's not supposed to be with Rambo? With Rambo? Yeah. I don't know. There's those two guys. Nice. The big parachute. I mean, this thing's huge. Pogie World has the high bid at $19. Sand dollar sweeps in at 21. And then also, 23. Bogey World is in at 25. It also you. comes with little canisters here. You take the tops off. A pair of binoculars. Oh, that's cool. And some shades. Pogey World is in at 25. I'm going to start counting it down for Pogey World. Do that. So once. For twenty-five dollars to Pogi World. They're nineteen ninety-six. Going twice to Pogi World for twenty-five dollars. Thank you, Sand Dollar. I showed yeah. Check these out. These are really neat. Farmer 77's in at 27. Thank you, Farmer. Looking for 29. Holding World is in at 30. Looking for 32.
My husband has one of the original GI Joes from the '60s with the parachute. Oh, really? Yeah, the full parachute. This gun's in really good shape too. Thirty-five. Who will give thirty-seven? And this big old parachute. And this parachute's probably the span of it's probably like four feet by four feet. It's nice. Huge. Hoagie World is in at 37. Who will give 39? These canisters do. No. Farmer 77 is in at 40. Looking for a bit of 42. Oh, boy. Hoagie World's in at 43, looking for 45. Farmer 77 says, Mama, I ain't messing around. Here's a 50. Thanks, Farmer. For a bit of 55. Hoagie World is out. I will start counting this down to Farmer. Going once at $50. This gun's pretty big, too. Going twice, the farmer, for $50. That's a nice lot. Yeah, it's a really good lot. Fair warning. Thank you to all our bidders tonight. Yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Definitely. We appreciate y'all. Farmer 77, you just bought that for $50. Congratulations. Thanks, Farmer. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I'll throw a little extra for you. But... Sorry what are about we doing that. with a starting bid today? We are going to start off at $15. $15. We're going to do a lot of comic books. There's 14 of them total. Um, okay. I do have them separated by um, type. So this is a lot of four X-Men comic books. There's, like I said, there's 14 total comic books altogether. This is a lot of Archie-based comics. There's a Mega Man one and like a regular Archie. Um, there's two of them there. There's two uh, Garfield comics. I have two uh, He-Man Master of the Universe comics. I have two uh, Birds of Prey, which is like Harley Quinn. There was a movie released based on this comic, so there's two yeah. of those. And two uh, different Constantine ones. So um, they're basically set up in little lots based on um, the type of comic. So there's 14 total, uh, $15. Free shipping. Anyone's interested. Looking for a fifteen dollars starting bid, guys. You've got fourteen total comics here. Six different lots. You could have six different listings, or you could break them down to each comic get the single listing or whatnot. Looking for a fifteen dollar opening bid, guys. Are there different ones in each sleeve, or is it yeah. the same comic? Yeah. They're they're all there. There's no repeats in here. Okay, they're, so you've got different. fourteen completely different comic books, guys. Yep, I just separate them by type whenever I sort mine because I don't know a whole lot about comics. So normally, whenever I list them, I just group them by like kinds. That's kind of why they're packaged this way, but they all come with the, uh, <laughs> hopefully not with a cat. Uh, cat cam. Yep. At least they didn't get the butt like I always get. So they all come with uh, plastic and a uh, backstock too. So they're all like very well packed. And then on top of it, I got them packed in these little suffocation bags too, but... 
fifteen dollars starting bid guys larry m is in at 15. judith i need a bid of 16 please <laughs> jacob wants the cat judith is in at 17. who will give me 19. jacob foo foo the cat is not for auction Larry M is in at 19. Thank you, Larry. I'm looking for 21. Oh, this one is uh, lenticular, too. I probably should have said that to begin with, but like, I don't know if you can tell it like changes its picture. Oh, okay. It's like a sort of like a hollow. Yeah, or like a, this is like a special edition, I think, because of the lenticular. Because right. the other Birds of Prey doesn't have the lenticular. Judith is in at 22. Thank you, Judith. Looking for a bit of 24. That'd be $2 a comic. Actually, a little less than $2. $2 a comic. What? <laughs> Judith has the high bid at 22. I will start counting it down for Judith. Going once at $22. Don't let the lag get you guys. It's a little bit more than 15 seconds now. We have got a lot to get to in the next half an hour. So we're going to be going fast and furious. Please get your bids in early before it is too late. Going twice to Judith at $22. My Kelly, Picker. Yeah. Kelly Picker. I know that sexy voice. <laughs> Fair warning to Judith at $22. Susie Woozy, what is up? That nerd, yeah, what up? I'm here, Toys. Susie Woozy. Toys, toys. I heard there is toys. You just bought this for twenty-two dollars. Good for you. Congratulations. My email is scrolling right there, Judith, and it's in the chat. If you look under Pittsburgh, you will see Anthony Sounder at Gmail. You send me Hello. an I will send an invoice. Thank you so much. Bombastic. Very fantastic. Hey, did you get uh farmer's payment? Yes, thank you, farmer. Really appreciate it. All right, I got a game lot. It's uh, four P PS3 games and four Xbox 360 games. What are we starting at? We're going to start at $20. We have Infamous 2. All the conditioning games are pretty decent. $20 starting for. bid, guys. GTA. Grand Theft Auto. Got the maps and all that fun stuff in there. Red Dead Redemption. Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty MW3. Modern Warfare 3 for Xbox 360. Skyrim. How many games we have all together? Eight games total. Eight? Three or flipping frozen. Four PlayStation 3, four Xbox 360. NBA 2K15. And NBA 13. Oh, Which, that game flipped out. What a flipping game. Flip that game back in. Looking for a twenty dollar starting bid, guys. It's gonna give me twenty. Yeah, all these games are good. My, if there's any scratches, it's very, very minor. If there's any scratches, you can just let them off. Uh, I can drop them off your house, and you can do your specialty. Oh, excuse me, ten dollars in it. Twenty. Thank you, ten dollars. 
Uh, Stroke Lux said, two. Week two, Sunday, April 20th, Broncos versus Steelers at Pittsburgh. Schedule just released. Nice. Just a quick reminder to everybody, be sure to watch Buffalo Pickers show tomorrow for a very special two-person guest. You know it. Nate and Anthony, they are going to be on Buffalo Pickers show tomorrow night. What? At 7.30. You know it. All right. 7.30 Eastern. <laughs> I'm going to start calling this for sand dollar at $20 going once for $20. Kelly Picker, you be you behave. You don't say anything mean about the Steelers. Going twice to sand dollar for $20. Later, Jimmy. Have a great day, buddy. Fair warning. Don't let the lag get you guys. Go bolts. What? Do you guys even have a quarterback? Gary said $22. Oh, Gary said 22 just as I was about to call it. Very smart, Gary. We've got Gary with a bid of $22. Who's going to give me 24? Sand Dollar is going to give me 24. Who's going to give me 26? Post offs are going to have to hire more workers to bring all Sand Dollar's packages. I know. <laughs> Gary's thinking. Well, I'm going to count it down for Sand Dollar going once at 24. I'm not going to take as long this time. Gary's in it at 26. I'm going to go once to Gary for $26. I'm going to go twice to Gary for $26. Sand dollars back in at 28. You guys are just wanting to make mama work. Thanks, fellas. Who's going to give me 30? 46 in the chat. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. We're going to go once to Sand Dollar for 28. Uh, awesome. Picker. Gary sold his game so he could buy Nate's. Sand Dollar's wife's going to kill him. <laughs> We're going to go twice to Sand Dollar for $28. What up, Justin? Justin Jacobs in the hizzle. Fair warning to Sand Dollar at $28. You've got 15 seconds. Uh, Sand Dollar, busted. you just bought that lot for $28. Congratulations. Thank you so much, bud. See, Bill's getting some good stuff coming. Uh-oh. 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 Some of these need washed. No. These are, these are a bunch of stuff Gassin? I got out of the toy box in a storage unit. Is that Ted Gassi or is that Ric Flair? That's I don't Flair. know who it is. Nature I Boy? I think it's Flair. Flair's one Woo! of the people, the only few he's people got that hair. He's kind of bendy. Shrek. What are we starting at? 
I don't know. Let's do 10. See how that works. There's Iron Man. I think it's from Iron Man. I don't know who some of these guys are from. It's just a mixed lot of characters. There's enough light on there. He looks like Brock Lesnar, but I know it's not. I don't know. It might be Kane, maybe. I don't know. Oh, you got a ponytail. I don't know. Triple H? I have no idea. You got a cop in there? It's kind of hard to see. Hey, is that Caesar? Yeah, I was going to say, is that Planet of the Apes? I have no idea what it is. Let me see if I get more light over here. Oops. Oh. <laughs> they all fall down. Big standing. Hail Caesar. Like There's more light. Let's see. I don't know. I think it's some kind of uh, space guy or something. I don't know. There's another one of these safari guys. My lighting's in the back. Here's another safari guy. Some kind of... This one I think is older. I don't know. This is definitely a method. It's a mixed is a, lot. Is that a Flintstones? I don't know. Didn't look. I don't know. He's got a goatee. Looking for a start bid of ten dollars, guys. We got it from Pokey World. Ten dollars. This looks like an older character. Get my hand out of the way. I wish I could get my light over there. That one little one with the beard looked like my long lost cousin. <laughs> this light ring just seems to be in the wrong area, no matter where I put it. Sand dollar is in at twelve. Little rubber guy. Fourteen. Here's the Ronald McDonald. What? I'm hungry for McD's now. Gorilla or something. Does that look like a gorilla head on an elephant body? <laughs> it's a gorilla. <laughs> we got a gorilla fit. The only one on eBay. <laughs> That's crazy. And here's an adventure guy. He's got his little goatee going on there. I don't know what this one's from, though. This one's pretty neat. Sandal holding the high bid at 12 for 14. Anyways, that's it. That's all of them. <laughs> 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 We're going to count this down to sand dollar for $12. Rick Flair said, I'm knocking all them fools down. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek said, I'm standing over here. I ain't going next to that guy. <laughs> We're gonna go twice to sand dollar for twelve dollars. Never flare's probably worth twelve dollars. This this gorilla foot here is pretty funny. I've never seen anything like that. I don't know if that's supposed to have that head or not. That, that might be on there. fair warning. That Rick Flair is pretty cool, though. Kind of yeah. Crazy. So you look their action figures together too long. They're cross pollinating. Stan <laughs> Dollar, you are the winner of this lot for twelve dollars. Congratulations! Thank you, Sand Dollar. Nice, Sand Dollar. You're cleaning up, man. Good job. Yeah, he sure is. All right, let's bring Gary in the mix. All right, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? So I'm going to try something a little different. These are a pair of Spy sunglasses. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Spy. They're really popular. What's the starting bid, honey? 
Uh, I'm going to have to start these at 25. Okay. Um, I bought them about a year ago and then my son never wore them. So these are the MCs. Those are sharp. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're killer, man. Lenses are in good shape. There's no scratches or anything. Put them on, Gary. Look oh, sharp. yeah. Oh, look. Ready to go, huh? Kelly says he's used those many times as a private investigator. And they're in really good shape. Who's going to give us an opening bid of 25? You can go on eBay and they're probably like 90 bucks. And it comes with the case. If they don't sell, I'll sell them on eBay. Just thought I'd try it. Larry M is in at 25. Larry wants to make some money. Who's going to give me 27? Buffalo Picker is in at 27. Shit, guys. They look good. Who's going to give me 29? Oh, my Harley now. I'll be good picker. to go, right? Is there a name inside? I'm good on Buffalo Picker, Tommy, for sure. Yeah. Is there yeah. A name? MC says right there. MC. Yeah. You guys can look them up. Um, made in Italy, H1. Uh, if we're made in Italy, you know they're good. We got Buffalo Picker holding the high bid at 27. Who's going to give me 29? <clears throat> They're a cool style. They're just too small for my big head. Larry M is in it, 29. Who's going to give me 31? Thanks, Larry. Well, they don't fit you. They definitely fit my big head. No, I got a big head, bro. I got what size hat you wear? I don't I don't wear a I wear a snapback. Uh see so yeah, I I wear a size seven, eight. Probably like seven and a half, you know? Yeah, I'm an eight ball. Are you? Wow, Nate, you yeah. got a big head. I a big head, bro. I got a lot of knowledge in that in that noggin. That is a big head name. At least what they tell me. I don't know. You're definitely full of something. Yeah. Doody Brown. <laughs> you do have a lot of knowledge in that head, though. I will give that to you. At the at the two hour forty seven mark and forty minute mark, we got Doody Brown reference. <laughs> mark it, mark it. Larry M is holding the high bid at twenty nine. I will start counting it down for Larry at twenty nine dollars. Going once to Larry for twenty nine. Yeah, those these marks these. right here are just my fingerprints. They're in really good shape. Yeah, I, I do see some high comps. Yeah, there Susie, this is Gary. Susie Woozy, how you doing? We are going to go twice to Larry M at 29. What are some of the features of these glasses? They're like UV protection? Yeah, I mean, their spy makes really good glasses. You can Google them. and They're definitely UV. You can tell by the reflection on them yeah yeah they make quality glasses they don't mess around yeah I mean, and with, uh, which interesting too you can't find the style anymore from spy they discontinued them and there's people that just want these pair you know what i mean they don't want to go back to a different style kelly picker wants to know do you have any serengetis a what a Serengeti, it must be a sunglass. No. That's Serengeti. That the I'm going to go fair yeah. warning to Larry M at $29. I got some Gucci's. Did Serengeti make those animals that look like babies? Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. You've been hanging out with Nate too much. <laughs> hey, I knew Gucci gang before I knew Nate. 
You put Nate up on Gucci Gang. What? I'll be back in a minute, guys. My wife needs me. Larry M. How you going? Congratulations. You have won these beautiful glasses for the small price of $29. Congrats, Larry. That's a good deal, man. I was so tempted to bid. Thank you. All right. The pits the bird. All right, buddy, get down. They can bid on the on the cat. We're gonna do some plush. Well, they're starting. Uh, we'll start at fifteen. Check this thing out. This is a rugby bear from American Eagle. What? Hat. Uh, little carry bag. Um, I think he has a little tag on him somewhere too. Oh, here it is. Uh, I, thought, I thought that, that was a flat. It's the official American Eagle bear. That is sharp. Bear. I thought he was wearing a sling or something at first, like his arm from playing rugby. This was like their like big bear back in like the I don't I don't even remember when this dude was on, but this was like vintage. He is sharp. Yeah. So he's the first Kathy piece. Ward is in at fifteen. Next piece is Kathy? Olaf, and he likes warm. Oh. <laughs> oh, Judith would like to know one. if you if you got your if you, you got her payment. We, um, I can check. I'll check right after the. I show these. This is a. Thank you, Judith. Pig. Paying. I think he's That's made cute. by Kelly Toys. Pink frog. Oh. Uh, we got a camouflaged Webkins by Gantz. Doesn't have a coat or anything, but these Webkins do really well. Build a bear. Oh, a naked build a bear. Yep, he's naked. There's his butt. I sold like the uh, completely dressed one last time. This one's awesome. I've sold a bunch of these. Look how big this sucker is. This is oh, a the dare bear. Like the 90s or whatever. Yeah, the, the dare bear. So if you want to make the build a bear, not do drugs, you could always have them put on the lion's shirt. Tamer. Uh, mm -hmm. lion tamer. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of plush for $15. Kathy yep. has the high bid right now at 15. I'm looking for a bit of 17, or I will count this down for Kathy for 15. This guy does well, though. I've sold like three of these in the past, and I still have two in my store outside of this guy who's not listed yet. He's a little bit bigger than the ones I have in stock right now. I was going to say, he looks big. Yeah, he, he's huge. I don't even know how big he is, to be honest with you. Well, let me tell you. He looks to be about 18 inches. This is a little game we play, guys. Nate has to prove me wrong now. Or er, Anthony. You know what? 20. Oh! You're close, though. You're really close. I would say within two inches is good. And something that's like 20 inches. So, yeah, that, that's everything, plus the Pittsburgh sticker, of course. All yeah. right, Kathy Ward's got the high bid at 15. She is going to get all of this, plus the first bear that we saw that was, I can't remember where that was from. American Eagle. American Eagle. Cajun yeah. reseller's in at 16. Kathy's in at 17. Cajun's in at 18. Who's going to give me 19? I have a feeling it's Kathy. That is a sharp bear right there. Yeah, that was really my amazing. husband's number in high school right there, 24. Okay. Cajun is at 18. Kathy, did you mean to put? There we go, 19. His name is Roscoe the Rugby Bear. Who is gonna make it twenty? So sporting a vintage rug, American Eagle rugby shirt. This is a fun-loving bear ready to go play. Cajun is at twenty. 
Kathy's at 22. Who's going to give us 24? Hip flipping daddy's in bed now. I need to keep my voice down. Who will give us 24? Again, I filled it as much as a 24 by 24 poly bag would hold. I'm going to start counting it down for Kathy going once at 22. Cajun says, not so fast, mama. Cajun's in at 24. Who's going to give us 26? Kathy says, mama, I'll give you 26. Kelly, would you stop obsessing over my voice? That is not good for our friendship. <laughs> Cajun is out. I will count it down for Kathy Ward. Going once at $26, Kathy. Going twice to Miss Kathy Ward for $26. She saw it. She wanted it. She's getting it. Fair warning. I've given enough time for the lag. I'm watching the chat. And congratulations, Kathy Ward. You've got it for $26. Nice. And that is a nice I did get your uh, payment. Thank you so much. That is a nice lot of plush for $26. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so oh. much. I really appreciate it, Kathy. What's our start bid, Nate? I will do another 20 again. I got another game lot. This is uh, four Xbox 360 and four PlayStation. Wait, two. Yeah. I'm sorry. Wait. One. There's, there's a GameCube game, a PlayStation 2 game, and two PlayStation 3 games, and two PlayStation, or four PlayStation, <coughs> four flip. For PlayStation 360 or Xbox 360. So, one Xbox 360. This this is Battlefield. This is sealed. Brand new sealed. Still got the wrapper on it and all that good stuff. Looking for a twenty dollars starting bid. You got it right there with that with that sealed. Fable three NBA two K fourteen. Oops. Don't roll over it. Discount. Flipping frozen is in at twenty. We got Pac-Man Fever for PS2. We got uh, Nintendo GameCube 007 Agent Under Fire. We got Sand Dollar at $22. Who is going to give me $24? This chair uh, is definitely worth what I paid for. I don't know if it's worth $200, but it's definitely really comfortable with all the features and stuff. Here is Madden 09 for PS3. So you got eight games all together. Four Xbox 360, two Play, uh, PlayStation 3, one you Wii. It last night. And one, yeah. And one, uh, don't mess me up. Four, four Xbox 360. One of them, which is brand new. Then you have two PlayStation 3, Madden 9 and Infamous. And then you have the Pac-Man Fever, PlayStation 2, and GameCube 007 Under Fire for GameCube. And Judith is in at 23. Thank you, Judith. Um, Judith, I do need a bit of 24, however. Sand Dollar's holding the high bit at 22. 
I am looking for a bit of 24. Once we hit 20, we go in $2 increments. I can start counting sand dollar down for $22. Sand Dollar came in at 25. Judith came in at 27. Do I have anyone coming in at 29? Thank you, Flippin' Frozen. Sand Dollar is in at 29. Do I see 31? Judith is out. Thank you for letting me know, Judith. We're going to go to Sand Dollar once. At $29. We're going to go twice to Sand Dollar for $29. Fair warning. I am watching the chat. Sand Dollar, congratulations. You just bought that for $29. Thank you so much. That's a good deal, Sand Dollar. You've been getting good deals all night. All right, uh, it's nine o'clock. Do you guys want to do one more moment? Mom, are we good for one more round, or are you are you finito? Does everybody have one, just one more left? Yeah, I got plenty of stuff. I could have just one more. Just up to you. You want to do one more? I can do one more. Gary, what about you? You're, you're, you're muted, muted, muted my or, uh, Gary. I said, I have a hundred lots left. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm just you kidding. Want, you want to do one more? Yeah, whatever you guys want to do. All right. Yeah. You up for one more, Bill? Yeah. All right. We'll do one more round. Okay. But we're going to do this quick. It's going to go quick and swift. So who's up? Um, Who just went? Bill's up. Okay. Okay. All right, I got a stack of uh, PlayStation games. Holy oh, moly, what are we starting at? Uh, let's do 25. Two of these are PSP games. All right, so I'm going to go through them quick. So there's Def Jam Vendetta, 007, 50 Cent. 50 Cent. NCAA Football 10. Ogie World is in at 25. NBA 2K9. NCAA 08. I'm counting. I'm flipping frozen. NBA Live 2005. Fight Night Round 3. 29. MVP 07. NBA 2K10. Pokey World is in at 33. Superbikes 2. Arena Football. Major League 2K8. NBA Live 08. Straw Humans. That's one of my favorite ones on PS2. So that's 15 so far. There's a Ben 10 disc. I don't know if that works or not. I'll just throw that in there. Batman. And then these two PS2, uh, PSP games. NCA09 and NBA Live 06. Those two so are PSP 19 games. games. Huh? 19 games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think it's 18. 
Well, you had that open disc. Oh, I wasn't counting that one. I just threw that in because okay. you don't have a case or nothing. Yeah, I don't even know if it works. 18 discs. Gary wants to know the condition. Are they all in good condition? Yeah, I've played them. I've I've ran them all to. Uh, they all played in the PS2. I didn't check the PSP games because I don't have a PSP. Poke World is in at 33. Who's going to give me 35? I can start counting it down for Pogi World at 33. Going once to Pogi World for $33, which is a great price for 18 games. Yeah, I've got tons of these things. I just grabbed a stack of them off the pile. Going twice to Pogi World for $33. I know there's a lag, guys, and I'm trying really hard to let the lag show up or the, you know, let the lag uh, catch up. Fair warning. Congratulations, Pogi World. You bought that lot for $33. Thank you so much. Gary. What you got, Gary? You muted, buddy. Gary, you muted, buddy. I'm sorry. I got tons of games. I got um I got a bunch of these pencil art. What are we starting at? Garbage Bell Kids. Let's try this garbage spell, kids. Let's try this, okay? Let's what do we start off, at? Let's start it off at 15. Okay. Looking for a $15 charge for some garbage pail kids cards. So 25 cards total. These are all uh, pencil art cards. They're in really good shape. They're all in holders. Yeah. Gate oh. City Pickers in at 15. Mike Newsom is in at 20. Sorry, the, the reflection on this. That's the okay. That's okay. Jacob Fufu is in at 25. Yeah. Uh, this one's uh, Janet Planet. It's cool. Mike Newsom's in at 35. She's uh, Patty Putty. <laughs> I've seen those go for a lot of money. This one's uh Battlefield. Jonathan yep. is in at 40. Thank you, Jonathan. Look at 42. They're all in these sleeves too, but inside they have these little also protected inside these little guys too. I forget what you call these guys. So they are double protected. Correct. Um, Vile Kyle. Mike Newsom's in at 45. Jonathan's in at 50. Who will give me 55? Um, Tongue Tied Tim. Mm. Penny Sleeves, Buffalo Pickers. Luke Warm. Penny sleeve, yeah, there you go. That's, That's the name awesome. I was looking for. Let me see the front of that again. That's awesome. <laughs> the, gra the graphics on them are crazy and all of them. Jonathan uh, Alfaro has the high bid at $50. Who will give uh, 
time. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's ten of those, and then I think Jenny Jelly. <laughs> These are like the hollows. Um, mixed up Mitch. Jolly Roger. Very cool. Primo Sid. <laughs> Off the wall, Paul. Missing link. Looks like Gene Wilder. Vaporized Val. Alan Al. Jonathan Alfaro holds the high bid at 50. I'm going to start counting it down for Jonathan. Crack Jack. Going once to Jonathan for 50. And Mona Loser. Going <laughs> twice. <laughs> Jonathan for 50. That's all we hear. All of these. Cards? Fair warning to Jonathan at 50. Oh, Mike comes in with a bid at 55. Thanks, Mike. Who will give us 60? Jonathan is out. So we're going to go once to Mike at 55. I've seen, I saw one of the evil, evil Eddie go for $66. That's crazy. So I'm going to throw these other five in. We're going to go twice to Mike for $55. Which ones are those? Morning. Are they are they called the sketches or which ones are they called? Pencil art. Congratulations, Mike! You just won that lot at fifty-five dollars. Nice, Mike. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. And Jonathan, thanks for bidding, dude. Congratulations. Oh, 55, right? Yes. Yeah, 55. 55. Okay. Thank you. So this next lot is uh, what I'm going to now refer, refer to as the Bill Stoner Special. Hats. <laughs> so I have, uh, this is a vintage NASCAR hat from the What are we starting at? Uh, we'll just start it at 15. There's 20 hats total. Vintage NASCAR snapback hat. From the 90s. I've got that one somewhere around here. Do you? Got a Pittsburgh Pirates hat. This is uh, adjustable. Can't say Velcro. Buffalo Picker in it 25. Thank you, Tommy. Got a Cord Light. I think that's Snapback hat. Got a vintage Redfish hat. Okay. Trucker style, snapback. Another uh, vintage uh, NASCAR. I believe this is from the '90s as well. It's a snapback. This one's uh, from Aruba, somewhere in Aruba. Wild Things baseball hat. This is a real tree camo snapback hat. 
real tree. Buffalo Picker has the high bid at 25. Looking for a bid at 27. Have a Wild Things winter hat. Judith is in at 28. Duquesne University adjustable strap back hat. Pittsburgh Penguins strap back hat by Reebok. Despicable Me Minions Kids Hat. This is one of those uh, really lightweight running hats. Still got the uh, tag on it. Or not tag, but sticker. Judith has the high bid at 28. Looking for a bid of 30. Tractor Supply Company. Strap back. Jegs High Performance. Adjustable Velcro. Cornwall Country Market. Step back. Kathy Ward is in at 30. Thank you, Kathy. Judith is back in at 32. Get another one of these Wild Things Winter Taco Caps. Kathy's in at 34. There's a brand new snapback hat with a $5.99 tag on it. It's blank. Like if you were to print on it or you just like snapback. Of course, we have the best football team in the history of ever, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Judith is in at 36. Looking for a bit of 38. And Kathy gives Ooh. us that bid. Who's going to give 40? That's all of them. <laughs> you just you were literally buried in hats. I believe that's 20 of them all together, guys. Kathy Ward holds the high bid at 38. We're going to go once to Kathy Ward for $38. We're going to go twice to Kathy for $38. Our lag is not quite as bad as it was. Fair warning. And congratulations, Kathy. You got it for $38. Thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate it. All right, all right, all right. So I got a Harley lot. What are we starting at? We're going to start it at 30. We got a Harley Christmas ornament. Very cool. We got this figure here. We got this one. We got this Harley bag with new with tags. Oh, cool. Uh, what tags are I know I said tags. Here's the tag. Looking for a starting bid of thirty dollars. So it has that. And then there's a little bag. I guess you use this like when you're riding or something. <laughs> so you have two bags. Let me find space in my desk here. Harley then stuff got, goes well. Then you have four handkerchiefs. Judith is in at thirty. Thank you, Judith. Who will give me thirty-two? You got this one. Oh, that's cool. Handkerchief. And then you have th three of these ones. They're like a like an army green. 
Oh, neat. All the same? I believe so. Though. I'm pretty sure. Let me pull them out. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I believe they're the same. Or similar, at least. Larry M. is in at 32. Thank you, Larry. Who will go 34? So you got four handkerchiefs. These are brand new. You have these complete sealed. These go for good money by themselves. You got Judith the, is at 38. Thank you, Judith. Looking for 40. And you have the bag. New with tags. Looking for a bit of $40. And then you got this little, little guy. Larry M is in at 40. Looking for 42 like a little map inside of like so it's a fanny pack no i'm saying like there's a map inside or something like there's, that's there's cute a... judith is in at 42 who will give me 44 i'm gonna start count, counting this down for judith at 42 dollars Harley stuff goes for big money. Yes, it does. Going once to Judith for $42. I sold a bunch of those little motorcycles for 20, 30 bucks a piece a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah, definitely. Going twice to Judith for $42. I think I still got a bunch of them at a tote out there somewhere. Larry is in at 44 Thank you, Larry. We're going to go once to Larry at $44. Twice to Larry for forty-four dollars. Sand dollars. Thank you, sand dollars. Judith is in at forty-six. I have Judith just. Oh, I'm sorry. Dollar. Oh, I saw. Yeah, my okay. bad. Looking for a bit of forty-eight. This is such a cool, like, Harley figure. Sand Dollar is in at 48, looking for a bit of 50. Gary Mike says he sent you payment on the cards. We're going to count this down for Sand Dollar. $48 going once. Thank you, Judith, for letting me know. Going twice to Sand Dollar at $48. Fair warning. I'm watching the chat. And Sand Dollar, you've done it again. You got this lot for $48. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Awesome job, Ray. Ray's going to make tons of money. <laughs> Sand Dollar, you were the lucky winner tonight. Definitely. Congratulations on all the lots that you won. Thank you so much. Yeah, I definitely you. appreciate you, Ray. Yeah, thank thank you for all the ten dollar, all the all the bidders, all the people here, mm -hmm. and especially Mama. Mama was the all star yet again. We appreciate yep. you. But uh, we're gonna be doing this every every two weeks or so until we decide otherwise. I guess uh, next time we'll be on Pittsburgh's channel in about two weeks. And uh, if anybody out there wants to do one with us, let us know. We'll try to schedule you in with us because we like to bring a couple people with us every time we. Yeah, do this. Reach get, out your requests in, get your requests in early, guys, because I'll be very honest with you. 
it all depends on my health as to how many people get into the auction. So if you want in, make your request early. Yeah, we uh we got six six spots and three's already always taken no matter what. Me, Mama, and Pittsburgh. So we we yeah. at least bring a couple people in. You know yeah, thanks I mean? for having me on, guys. I appreciate it, Mama. Thank you. You're very welcome, Gary. It was great to have you, you, baby. Definitely a pleasure, man. You get you guys. As was you, Bill. My, uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys having me on too. And you know, you want, anytime man. you want me to come in, just let me know. Yeah, I'm sure, have Bill. Stuff to get rid of. Oh yeah, you know, you yeah, definitely got always, always nice to spend time with you two gentlemen. Agreed. But uh, before everyone leaves, if you could please smash the thumbs up, we'd appreciate it. And uh, tomorrow we'll be on Ant or I'm sorry, my channel. We'll be on my channel yep. tomorrow. And we have the thrifting goomba in the house. So make sure that you subscribe to these two guys down below me, West Max Gary and Bill Stoner. Definitely. And Wait, thank you. to the three of us up top too while you're at it but uh just want to say thanks again and uh we'll see you tomorrow on my channel yet again for ecom and beyond the best morning show period all right guys hey, don't see forget guys. have a good night guys, guys buffalo picker channel tomorrow night 7 30. Yeah. These two, these two boys are going to be on Buffalo Pickers channel at 7.30. Don't forget. Yeah, right. Those two studs right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my boys. I don't look at them as studs. They're my boys. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a fantastic night and make that money.